Hello, and welcome to episode one of Changeling the Dreaming, Dreaming Across New York, uh, which is a little bit of a tongue twister, but I'm here for it. Now, fun fact this time, you guys, is I repeatedly messed up the title of Wraith, which you should super watch if you haven't watched yet. Uh, this time, I gave a different title, and our Q-Times production overlords went and put all the ads out with the old title, and I was like, oh, oh okay, <laughs> we're doing that one then. <laughs> so it won't be my fault if I get tongue-tied on the title this time. Uh, today, we are, in fact, playing Changeling the Dreaming. We are playing the 20th edition of Changeling the Dreaming, which is another story set in the world of darkness that you've become familiar with. Uh, vampire, werewolf, uh, wraith, changeling, and of course, mage. This is set in continuity with the previous streams. So you may see some people you recognize, hear of events that you recognize. Theoretically, the tone of this should be somewhat different than wraith. Theoretically, <laughs> but we'll see how it works out because it is still the world of darkness. Now, uh, I would like to give our lovely cast here a chance to introduce themselves. If you want to give your character's name, that's fine, but we'll have a moment uh, later on to actually properly meet you. Uh, but we will start with you on the order that you are on my screen with Diana. Hey, everybody. Um, I am Diana D'Amico. Uh, tonight, I am playing Bunny. The best girl. Best girl. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, Emily? Hi, everyone. Uh, I am Emily, and tonight I will be playing Gwyneth. Uh, just, I literally laughed and giggled out loud and was so completely overjoyed when I laid eyes on Justice. Like, when the camera came up, I was like, <laughs> yes. That absolutely yes. <laughs> um, justice. Oh, hi. Um, we'll get into that later. I'm Justice, um, and uh, tonight I'm playing Dugan. Um, <laughs> I thought for a second there you were going full James Hetfield. You're like I'm Justice <laughs> playing Dugan. <laughs> you know? uh, Mason. Yeah, hey everybody. My name is Mason. Tonight I'm playing dicks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and last but certainly not least, Nora. Hi everyone. I'm Nora Ibrahim, and tonight I am playing Harlow Jinx. Beautiful. And I, of course, am your humble storyteller, B. Dave Walters. Um. Again, uh, I don't expect. We will trip over some of the uh, um, mental and emotional landmines that uh, were present in Wraith, but it can happen. So we uh, still have our system of um, safety tools going on in the background. If we trip over something that bugs somebody and they poke me about it, uh, we'll stop the scene right there. So if it ever seems like almost mid-sentence, I'm like, and then you're somewhere else. So you, you'll know why. Uh, but otherwise, this should just be super happy, fun romp through New York with no negative repercussions of any kind whatsoever. Uh, and with that, let us dive a little deeper into our story. The world of darkness is an unusual place in that it is our world. It's exactly what is outside right now. It is January 2021. Uh, there is political unrest, economic unrest, but for the most part, people going about their days trying to make ends meet. You get up, wish you could stay in bed a little longer just to enjoy a little bit more of that sweet, sweet dream time. Get dressed, sit in traffic that you hate, listening to a radio disc jockey that probably gets on your nerves, get into the office with people you don't really like, at a job that is slowly kind of sucking your soul out an hour at a time incrementally just because you have to still make the money necessary to pay for the house that you're kind of a little bit over and really wish you could move anyway, sit back in traffic again, go home, Maybe see the boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, kids, dog, 
give everybody the appropriate kisses, have a meal that you probably shouldn't have eaten, drink a little more wine than you probably should have, maybe play a couple of rounds of whatever video game is popular at the time, being alternatively uh, levels of sus or non-sus visiting islands or whatever, and then finally lay down your head Dreading the fact that you're going to get up and do it all again tomorrow and going to get up and do it for as many tomorrows as you probably still have left on this rock. That is unfortunately the standard existence of most people these days. In that simple reality, that cold, hard banality of existence is literally killing the Fae. In Changeling the Dreaming, you all represent a different group of people, descended from the fair forest folk of times past, of the subject of children's stories and legends and myths from across time that were absolutely true about the people in the forest, that it's careful, don't fall asleep out there, you may never return. Careful of the fairy rings and the mushrooms. If you visit, don't eat their food. If they offer you a deal, don't take it. Because there was a time that the Fae, or in their various kiths, as their organizations are known, freely walked this earth and at times ruled it completely. But as mankind, those stupid monkeys, found their way more and more into possession of greater and greater power, they just kept building and breeding and building and breeding. And they set upon certain discoveries that made life very difficult for the Fae, not the least of which was iron, cold iron. Iron, by its very nature, specifically cold iron, is the densest, realist thing possible. And the Fae exist between worlds. They walk this earth, but they also occupy a place called the Dreaming, which is just that, a place that every person still visits at night when they sleep. And pump the infinite joy and sadness, passion and terror that sleeps in the subconscious of everyone into this place that takes it and shapes it and molds it into an infinite variety of manifestations. The dreaming is alive, but not in the way that you think. It has no mind. It has no personality. And yet it still grows and contracts, breathing on its own and manifesting infinite possibilities. And in the dreaming, any and everything can be found, but also in the dreaming, any and everything can be lost. And as humanity succumbed more and more and more into this clockwork world, this industrial revolution, this middle-class society of the lie of infinite upward mobility. If you just stay in your lane and work a little bit harder, the Fae have slowly withered away. And as the joy, as the light, as the magic of the world known as the glamour has faded, so have they along with their power. And it has been replaced with stone, dare I say, metal coal banality. The walls of the world are closing in on all sides, and it is getting colder by the day. And when all of the glamour is finally gone, the long winter will descend. It will be a tremendous loss for everyone when the Fae are finally gone, and the glamour that they brought with them, and help manifest and help wield to make the world a brighter place. When that happens, there will be nothing but cold and darkness left. And in these final days of these incredibly long-lived creatures, even they don't know, are these final days literally days before the curtain falls on us? Is it decades? Is it years? It might even be centuries. But for creatures that have lived millennia, knowing they've got on the top end maybe 150 years left is the exact same thing as believing that death is absolutely imminent. And yet, new Fae are still being born all the time. 
individuals with a foot in the human world and into the world of the Kithane. They still occupy this human workaday world where perhaps, perhaps they get up and go and clock in also, but when they come home, they come home to a lab creating wonders that mortal minds literally cannot comprehend. Perhaps they come home to a royal throne descended from their ancestors, brought with them when the high and shining ones return to this world ahead of the final conflict. Perhaps they do not work at all and spend their days picking pockets or engaging in all manner of excess or silently marking all who come across their territory permanently with the signs of their passing. And yet they still must find a way to exist in these final days. They still must find a day to uh, find a way to engage in the drive that is in their hearts to be fundamentally what they are in a world that is actively trying to expel them just like a body tries to expel an infection. The long winter is coming and it will destroy everything. But until then, we must make merry while we can. And with that, we come into our story where you five have received cryptic invitations to come to a club known as the Axis. The Axis is a New York City fixture. It has stood for... Well, really, as long as anybody's been paying attention, this building seems to have been here. And before that, it was a place that was known for meeting. It is unusual in that it is agreed by all sides to be common ground. The vampires, those creepy (laughs) undead things that have their place. They know how to party. Some of them really know how to party, but you got to be careful because they always want to take a little more from you than they're willing to give. That is one of the things that all young Kithane learn fairly early is everybody wants to be your friend, but what is it that they want from you in exchange? But in this place, everyone coexists peacefully, at least with some manners inside of their walls, where fae and vampire, werewolf, even those odd human mystics and their bizarre abilities and all manner of creature that you cannot find anywhere else come here to rub elbows and on occasion trade stories, on occasion perhaps even enter into deals and alliances that might alter not just the fabric of New York City itself, but perhaps the entire world and whatever lay beyond it. You've all been to the Axis before, and yet tonight is something quite unusual. Harlow. Tell us who you are, ma'am, and how you were spending the day, and how it is you arrived at the Axis tonight. I will tell you, I sorry, I suppose this is a piece of information that you should possess. The Axis looks like an old club, uh, like it is a, a, a theater straight out of mm, charitably the 70s, possibly as far back as uh, the Harlem Renaissance. It has a freestanding ticket booth right in the middle that sits back with an opening that almost looks like a mixture between a museum to the glorious golden age of Hollywood and yet a gigantic mouth that you cannot shake the idea that once you enter into it, you are crossing into a new and different realm. And with that, sorry, Harlow. Well, you know, I like to spend my days, uh, I'm a tattoo artist. 
And uh, I do look like this, you know, most of the time. Uh, sometimes my hair color changes, but what people really notice about me when I'm walking down the street is I've got really beautiful, very like whimsical tattoos all over my arms. And that's usually how I get my clients. Um, they usually come in wanting something similar to what they're seeing, but then sometimes, and they, and they think that that's what they're getting and they walk out really happy, but maybe sometime later on in the night or maybe even later on in the week, they notice that it says like no regrets or like maybe it's like a dick that I drew on there. Um, so that's what I like to do. I like to have just like a little bit of fun because it gets really boring. And then after work, you know, a girl needs to unwind and have some sort of spontaneity in their lives. And so that's why I'm heading over to the Axis tonight. Uh, and to be clear, you are a puka. That that's correct? right. Yes. And so I like to, I, I wear this, like, you know, when people look at me like this, but uh, I do tend to also look like a kitty cat sometimes. Sometimes. Who among us doesn't, though? Uh, Harlem, who among us doesn't? Uh, for those of you that perhaps might not be familiar with Changeling, um, you'll notice there's several recurring themes in all of the White Wolf games from the 90s, because quite frankly, the same group of people wrote them all. So where vampires have clans and werewolves have tribes, the fae have kiths. Uh, it is uh, the type of changeling that you are and uh, informs many other things about you. Uh, Harlow, as you make your way towards the Axis, and there is this uh, ticket booth in the middle that is all glassed in, you hear the unmistakable dragging of a stool across the floor, like Aah! and a moment later, an impossibly old woman pokes her head up over the glass. <laughs> Comes up. It's like, oh, 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 look, it's you, darling. Hello. Hello. Hi there, hon. How are you doing tonight? It's I am wonderful. I am still upright. You're Gladys. I don't expect you to remember me. You're very influential. My name is Gladys. I could never forget you. I don't expect you to remember me. How uh, you doing, Zool? I'm good. Thank you. You know, I never forget a face. So I'm really glad. And you're up and about. And I really love to see a woman at your age, you know, enjoying the nightlife. Well, I mean, what do you mean, my age, Harlow? Like, I mean, oh. come on, it's just. It's I mean, somebody as fabulous, fabulous as yourself. It's all oh, I. Right. No, 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 I know what I look like. I look like a dehydrated prune. I get it. No, it's okay though. It's like you should have seen me back in my day. I was. All right, I was never that hot, but I turn more heads than I do now, though. That's there for certain. But believe me, darling, I still got certain assets the boys want. You know what I mean, okay? Hey. I, I, I noticed. No, I've noticed those assets. This, yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, what, what, what brings you in tonight, darling? Where, what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just life gets kind of boring. I just wanted to see what the happenings were around here. See what familiar faces, what unfamiliar faces, what trouble I can get into. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Wait, <clears throat> hold on a second. Wait, do you, do you hear that? Hold on. What? <sighs> Hello. We are about to have a real, honest, the goodness visiting dignitary joining us. Ah. <gasps> Gwyneth. Gwyneth. Uh, tell us who Gwyneth is. Again, uh, who she is, what she looks like, what she was up to today, how she came to be here. Hello, I'm Gwyneth. I am one of the Arcadian She, which, as you know, really is the, the pinnacle of the Fey Kith experience. Everyone really reports directly to the Arcadian She if we were to consider it in a, a more corporate structure, which I do. Uh, so, in my place in the house Alinad, um, we're sometimes called the, the House of Secrets, the House of Whispers. I think that's a little bit of a, a, a gauche way to explain what happens in the house. But regardless, what's important is that we keep knowledge. We keep arcana. We keep 
the magical juices that keep the Fae running. And I have the privilege, the honest privilege, to be a part of all of that. Um, honestly, it's it's a, a, a shock to find myself in Manhattan tonight. Uh, I'm so normally at my house in Westchester at this time of day, but someone put it on my calendar to come here, and I just... Um, I thought that I needed to make my way down. I mean, it, it is on my calendar. But that being said, um, the one thing I really don't want anyone to focus on is the, the distinction when some people call me a grump. This is a term that I haven't exactly embraced. I've been around for a while, a long while. I've seen many, many centuries. And... I know, I look good for my age. I've had a lot of work done. There, I just did a little more. But what really matters the most is that when you look at me, you don't see a young woman, an old woman. You, you don't really see a woman. You see a being of power, a being who can really bring great change to this world. And that's, that's all you really need to know. You're muted. Important. Gwyneth, as you make your way over towards the entrance of the Axis, uh, you do see um, what is immediately obvious to you as a puka standing there uh, by, by the ticket booth, and you also see this impossibly old woman inside scrambling down off of the stool to attempt to bow. Like, oh, no, hang on. No, I, I need to show respect to what, to what Arcadian... Ch <clears throat> oh, oh, your grace is with your presence. You Do right. Do right. I flourish in a way like your majesty <laughs> and like in such a way that is so overdone that you are like, is this a sneak diss? But I haven't done anything technically to make you think that it is. So you can't really like tell, but I'm like very much flourishing your highness. <laughs> mm. Mm. We'll work on that. Oh, you know, I would really love to take some of those etiquette classes, you know, have a little teacup with my pinky out. I think that would be so amazing. Yes, I've, I've, had, I've had tea with a puka before. I'm not sure much of the tea made it into the puka, but... Oh, no, it goes back in. It goes back in. <laughs> <laughs> hollow, hollow. It's, I like you. I like you, Hollow. I do. I do. Gwyneth, hey, hi. Uh, again, you know, um, and you hear she starts fumbling with papers back there and she picks up a very large clipboard and starts flipping through pages that are yellowed with age. Like you can hear them crunching through like the little uh, carve opening where she slide, you could slide tickets in and out of. And she's like, I don't. I wasn't, I mean, of course, you all are welcome at the Axis here. You previously have been through the proper, you know, um, bona fides as they were. But I didn't know that anybody was was um, having an unusual gathering tonight. Um, Gwyneth, well, what is it that, uh, to what do we owe the occasion? It's on my calendar. No, that's valid. That's completely valid. Yeah, completely valid. And she does like pull like a pocket rocket flask out of her pocket. She's like, no, it's on the calendar. Not on my calendar. Okay. All right. Um, uh, do you have any, any other details about um, um, who you might be meeting or? I, I'm not really sure why I'm getting such a 
such an ungracious welcome. I, oh. I honestly, <laughs> no, no, no. Your Highness. <laughs> no, no. I just, I just wanted to make sure that the proper arrangements had been met. Yes, exactly. Yes, thank, thank you for that. I appreciate that, Hollow. Um, uh, while she is sort of sputtering here, uh, I especially need to know, Dugan. Ah. Along, along with everyone else, I need to know specifically how Dugan gets here. By what method of transport does <laughs> Dugan get across New York? So yes, please, Dugan. Well, uh, hi. Ha! Ha! Did you say something? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm Dugan. Um, I'm a Naka. And, uh, you know, I like thick shit. I like to tinker with shit. Um, I, uh, probably I've been told I should have been on a boat a lot um, with the uh, with the uh, the fucking mouth and whatnot and uh, makes it real hard for me to keep a job in the mortal world they don't like it when you tell the customers to shut the fuck up right <laughs> but you know what sometimes that's what you got to do because the, the dumbasses aren't listening to what you're saying <laughs> so you just shut up man I know better than you <laughs> I tried to work at Home Depot for a while but <laughs> that just didn't work out I kept like making shit in the aisles and they were like you can't do that here man I'm like why not it's gonna solve all your problems you know, you got these stupid idiots lining up in the aisle, and he's like, well, no, just make this thing. It'll solve all their goddamn problems, right? Anyway, yeah, so so I had, this, I had to go into business for myself, and uh, it, it makes a lot of more sense when I'm in my own shop, and I can just make my own damn things, and, and then I sell them at a high price for, you know, there's a lot of people out there that want the shit I make, right? <laughs> they might not like me, but I don't give a fuck, right? <laughs> I just gotta, I do my thing, and it's always perfect. <laughs> because that's that's how I roll. Um, anyway, I I look pretty much like this. I don't really give a shit about what I look like. Uh, I get some looks every once in a while. Hold up. Sorry, there's something stuck in there. I, anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, so I I I travel on the subway. I, I I I get the least amount of strange looks when I'm on the New York subway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just blend in. <laughs> Except maybe in the winter. <laughs> uh, two important points of clarification. Yes, right now it is the depths of winter, so it it is pretty cold outside. So a uh, a, a sleeveless individual uh, in, in in a in overalls uh, might strike a, a, an odd look. But again, if there's anywhere that nobody's going to look twice, it is the New York City subway system. Uh, and yeah, I would if, I, always... if I talk loudly, they just leave me alone. <laughs> And also, uh, I would point out it's um it's around sundown. Uh, this this time of year, the the sun's going down like five five thirty or so. Like uh, you all are basically getting there as the sun is very low in the sky. And yes, Dix, as you uh, uh not Dix, sorry, Dugan, Dick, we haven't met Dix yet. Uh, ah. Dugan, uh, as you come around the corner, uh, you see this uh puka. Flourishing a very low bow in front of uh, this uh, very clearly Arcadian she's complaining about the reception that she's getting as you come around the corner. I ah. just don't understand why I'm not just being let in now. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, you know, see, there's something that I've learned in this in this line of work is that like when one of you shows up, like five to six of you tend to show up. It's an odd thing. It's almost like um, uh, like you're some sort of motley band that all just arrives at once, really. Well, yes, I'm I'm used to people arriving when I have arrived, but normally I try to be the fashionably late one, and it seems to me that you are making me. Wait. Uh, no, you are very fashionable, though. Um, uh, but wait, like, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, yes, Harlow. Yeah, sorry. We're just waiting to get a little entourage for you. Yeah, exactly. Then you all come in and it's like everything happens in slow motion, like the wind whips up, you know, when you're walking in and looking all glorious, you know, like I, I trust you. I get it. I'll make ah. sure to fan you. <laughs> Wait, but look at this guy. Hey, 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 Dugan. Dugan. Oh, hey, what up, Dollface? Yeah. That's, oh, oh, Dugan. Let me. Is that, that AC still working for you? 
Oh, no, it's fantastic. Also, that back massager you gave me, wonderful thing. Changed my life. Here's the problem, though, and I don't know if you could help me with this or not. Um, the exhaust from the back massager you made me. Again, wonderful thing, put years back on the old clock. Um, the exhaust smells a lot like farts. Is there is there is there any is there is there like a setting I could perhaps adjust to have it be like non flatulent exhaust from my back massager? Ah, huh? well, no. That, I mean, that's what you always smelled like. So I thought that's what you wanted it to smell like. I did that on purpose. Oh, feature, not a bug. Okay, yeah, feature, feature, not 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 a bug. Uh, the, the, it's let perfect. Me it. I mean, it's not a perfect. Yeah, it's 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 not a perfect. Can't quite tell what you're saying there, but I'm gonna let it slide because I like you. Ah. Valid. Hi there, nice to meet you. Oh, hey, Hi, Harlow. Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Man, a few words. You know, I've. I'm. It's always interesting meeting a Naka. Speaking of Nakas, by the way, Gladys, if you want some ink on those Nakas, you know, I make. I promise, I'll make it look real pretty. And oh, no, hold, on, hold on a second, though. I know how you work, Harlow. I'll be walking around with dick butt on my jugs for the next 50 years. Me? No. <laughs> no, for you, I mean, for normal people, yeah, but for right. you, no. For me, the, okay, right. Promise okay. real you pretty. Know. It's a, we have to get something like trace the lines here. You know, I look like a topographical map now, you know, with all oh. the wrinkles. But the, yeah. I can make you a cream. A happy like trail? A, I can stretch that. I could. I could. Oh man! I could put something together. They just stretch your skin right out to its old size, and and it'll get those wrinkles. Now you might have a little bit of gathering at the back there, but you know we could right. get it clipped in there. If you did this, could you get somebody to moisturize me? See, I'm a big fan of Doctor Who. I don't know if you kids watch TV You're in this world and the next. I don't know if they got cable in the dreaming, but you know that that happened. There's a woman. She just got like stretched out and like that's how she lived after. Oh, yeah. that sounds terrible. I mean, I'd keep you on your current body form. Probably better. Uh, yeah, Probably you know what? Let me. Well, you know, you can maybe I'm just try some, clo some clothespins. You know, uh, you know, a lot of people, they say that they don't like like you guys or your kind. I do. I do. I think you're adorable. I think you do. <gasps> Hang on a second. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You guys are gathering close, gathering close. Hold on a second. I think the body's about to start over here, though. Hang on. I got, there's going to be somebody coming that you have absolutely got to meet. Okay. <laughs> Bunny. Introduce us to Bunny, please. Uh, hello, I am Bunny. Um, you you may recognize me from my um, fans only. <laughs> I top one percent. I mean, uh, I'm very popular. I spend my whole day talking to people online. They're so nice, and then uh, sometimes we meet and talk, and uh, we fuck. <laughs> Can I start drinking now? How how did Buddy get here to tonight? By the way, uh, my my private car brought me. Uh, the driver is very nice. Uh, I fuck him too, but <laughs> not tonight because tonight I'm coming to a Barbie. <laughs> Bunny, when you wait, what what, do, what what does Bunny look like for? By the way, uh, short and um, uh, uh. Well endowed. <laughs> in, 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 are, is there any other uh, distinct characteristics about her? I have horns. Uh, I am a satyr. So I have horns and I have hooves, but the stupid people cannot see the horns or hooves. Uh, I save that for you. <laughs> Ink on Naka's all around. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm the only knocker. <laughs> you sure? Bunny, 
As you walk up, Gladys slides her flask through the window over towards you. And she's like, Bunny, darling, I have still not recovered from that triple date that we went on like a month ago. That's why I needed to get the back massager from this fucking guy. It was because of you. It's just, it's all... It's all coming together, though. I don't know. It's like somebody's like sponsoring a surprise party for me here. It's like some of my like favorite people all in one place. Gladys, we are always here to party with you. I mean, look at these. I would fuck her and her. <gasps> Not him. But it's always a party. I'll take oh. the flask and make a oh. nice long drag. My God. Oh, my God. Your bunny. I subscribe yes. to your fans only. I can't believe I'm meeting you. Oh my goodness, I it's have... so nice to meet you. I'll fling my arms around her neck and jiggle against her emphatically. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> this is fucking weird. You are fucking weird. <laughs> this is the happiest day of my life. Not only am I meeting royalty, and I and I'm meeting you, and I'm such a big fan of yours. And I'm just this is the happiest day of my life. Oh, happy days deserve celebration. You should have some of this. I don't know what it is, but automatically, yes, I will drink it for it from you. Thank you. <laughs> when you um actually believe it or not, both uh Bunny and um Harlow, give me. Hold on, I'm making sure I'm asking you for the right thing because the skills are all slightly different in every one of these. Mm. Of course, I don't have it faster there than that. Um, give me wits and... Um, do you all have insight on these versions of the sheets? Uh, no. Uh, is perce but perception wasn't one there. Hang on. Yes. Perce per perception is? Then give me width yes. and perception. Okay. okay. Uh, if you have your vampire dice, I'm fine going with just the uh, successes. Although for this, theoretically, you do need the numbered D10s because when I'm giving you the difficulty, some things are harder than others. Ah. If convenient. Uh, how many successes was that for Bunny? Oh. There we go. Hang on. Now I have my changeling official sheet here. And how many is that for Harlow? Two as well. Uh, both of you, this is, it is incredibly strong. Um, it, it's like some kind of mead, uh, but it is very smooth too, though. Uh, this is not something that like, uh, that you would normally be accustomed to. Like Bunny, you've had it somewhere along the way. Cause you've had everything somewhere along the way, Once but, or twice. Like, yeah, <laughs> but this is not, this is not at all a common thing. Uh, that she's letting you drink out of her flask. Oh, well, this is, wow, this is very strong, but what, this is delicious. Like you can't, like, I feel like there's a lot of alcohol in this, if, 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 if there's alcohol in this or whatever the heck it is, but it also feels like, uh, you know, it's, 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 you know, very dangerous for me because if I have too much of it, I don't even know what's going to happen. It's, oh. it's the good shit. Yeah. Uh, here, oh, uh, uh, I'll start oh. digging in my bag and pull out a couple of pills. This will help. Oh, yes. Thank you. It's been a, a listen. It's it's been a very long day, so I don't know what this is, but I, I love you so much that I yes, I trust you in, in, in you know, immediately. And look, it actually says good shit on here. That's amazing. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, all right. We'll see you tomorrow, Harlow. Okay, right? <laughs> when you take that. Uh, she is right when she says that. She sort of like stops and she looks over just off into the distance. And she's like, oh, I understand. There's one more of you coming. Okay, now, girls, hold on a second. Let me warn you about this. You too, uh, Dugan. I'll warn you as well. This huh? next one coming. He's very cute. 
Don't let that fool you. He gets a little handsy, and I don't mean in the good way, okay? Like, you think maybe he's just trying to cop a feel, and then your wallet's going to be gone, okay? There is no bad way. <laughs> well, he's one of those goddamn piskies. Y- you know, normally I would say that is kithist, but it isn't when it's true, I suppose. Um, yeah, they can't come in my workshop. It's- that's probably a good, good, like they're probably a walking OSHA violation, I suppose. Does OSHA apply to Naka Labs? I don't know. No, I don't, I don't deal with their fucking regulations. I know more than they do. Well, yeah, and also you're dealing with people like they lose a finger, they just grow another one. So I guess it's not really quite the obstacle, is it? That's true. That's fair. Easy, yeah. just fingers that grow back. Oh, I There's this mean, thing I've been wanting to try. Have, I mean, there's only one way to find out, really. Yeah, but oh, I no. like you. Yeah, but that's I wouldn't <laughs> want anybody to lose permanently out on their uh, in dicks. Introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's my intro. Is uh, <laughs> hey, yo, everybody, uh, everybody knows me. What's going on, guys? It's dicks. Yeah, I'm a pisky. So, you know, I kind of blend in wherever, whatever makes me look the most goodest and wherever I am, you know? Um, so, you know, uh, just following up on what Bunny said, I'm of average height, but still well endowed. Um, I'm a little <laughs> abrasive, but, you know, everybody learns to love me eventually. Uh, you know, so uh, especially my friends, I'm grossly loyal, but, you know, I still like shinies. You know, I can't help myself sometimes. Just kind of grab them. But what idiot, like, walks around with a wallet that obviously full, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of which... Um, who can park the Mercedes? I ended up with these keys, and I'm not quite sure where from they came. <laughs> I'm just going to be kind of like looking for a doorman, like jingling the keys around. Uh, Gladys, uh, Dix, yeah, honey, I'll, 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 you just leave those here. I'll have somebody park it. Uh, I'll also have them swap the plates. It's just like a uh, VIP accoutrement because, um, you know, you know I, I make a deal with it. You don't steal my car, and I'll help make sure the you know, NYPD don't realize you stole that one. How about that? Hey, yeah, I love you. No, I can't promise nothing. You know me, but I will do my absolute damnedest. <laughs> I, I understand. I understand. Beautiful. Oh, it's, fuck it. Gwyneth, how you doing, you royal dicks. bitch? I mean, <laughs> dicks, what have you gotten into? I mean, only everything on the way here. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to kind of take a peek. D- Drungan? Dungan? Hey, you know who the fuck I am. <laughs> hey, how you doing, man? I, you got anything for me? You always got something. No, get the fuck back. Last time you <laughs> took my nail gun, I hadn't seen it yet. You said you'd bring it back. Does he have anything shiny on him? Inevitably. I, I, I got tools all in my apron. Yeah. <laughs> Inevitably. I have to roll willpower to save, and I don't think I even want to. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the thing. So as uh, Piskies are... Um, compelled to take things they like uh and it does take conscious extreme effort to not do that so i guess the question do you try to resist it or do you just try and shake him down with him looking right at you <laughs> yeah i'm gonna shake him down because this is like it's kind of a game we play it uh, but only i'm the one playing i guess <laughs> <laughs> yeah i never agreed to that uh yes hang on there's um to get back to my page about the piskies because there is a specific thing you roll for just this. Uh, Meanwhile, I'm just going to try and stand really, really close uh, to Gwyneth because her hair is really long and shiny and pretty. And, and so I'm like, I'm sort of obviously staring at it. And if I have the ability to like pet it a little without her killing me on the spot, I absolutely will. I mean, do you let her touch you, Gwyneth? It's that thing where um, it's very much like when you're in on the subway and like a person falls, like their head falls on your shoulder, like asleep, and you're sort of like that. Like I acknowledge, I feel that it's happening, but I don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just look over. She smells really nice. <laughs> you do smell very nice. <laughs> would, would you like a pill too? <laughs> Um, you know, I've taken a lot of pills in my time and I'm, uh, beyond that stage of my life. Thank you. Oh, you're boring. (laughs) That's okay. That's okay. 
okay, we 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 can show you how to have a good time. You you hang out with Pesky. That is a good start. Oh, I know well, how to loosen up time. a little bit. <sighs> you know, perhaps you'll learn something from me. No. <laughs> Not likely. <laughs> you stuck up, Rod. <laughs> uh, Dix, give me your Dex and uh, Subterfuge. And we will. And you, uh, Dugan, can give me your um, Perception and Alertness. For those of you so, that are used to these games, especially V5, you'll hear, or 5th edition, you'll hear I'm using different names for skills because they had slightly different names back in the day. But the basic mechanics of combined this with this, all the same. So 6 and up is a success and 10s are still crits? Correct. Although we're not exploding, but we're also not, not having ones um, cancel. Okay. So, uh, we'll still, yes, you aren't! <laughs> we'll still say two tens is a, is a crit. Okay, I got two. So then 5 with a crit. Okay, five with a crit, Dugan. I had one success. No, Dugan, you very much are looking at him like, don't take anything. And Dick's the question is, when you take it, do you let him know you took it, or do you just like slide it in your pocket? I don't even know I took it. I took it so good, but like, and then I find out that I got it in my pocket, and I see uh, Hollow standing there. I'm like, hey, uh, <clears throat> hey, Hollow, how you, how you doing? This Holly, Hollow. It's hollow, and I got my yeah. eye on you, sticky fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's been a while since I seen you last. It's, uh, I got you something. I don't know what I have in my hand, but I'm, <laughs> I'm going to hand it to her. I got you something. You hey, got my fucking present? screwdriver. He yeah, oh my God. I don't even have one of these. It is a screwdriver with like an odd copper wire that like rings around it. That's like while you're screwing would drill a hole around the screw, which makes no logical sense because it's almost like you're coring the screw. You Trust know, me, it works. I never knew until this very moment that I needed one of these. Yeah, I just it, a little something I picked up on the way. Uh, if you ever change your mind, you want to go for a toss in the sack or anything, you just let me know. I just have this is not related to that in any sort of way. Just figured I would give it to you, you know. Uh, out of the own kindness in my heart. Hey, you're oh, bad at so nice of you. Here, let me give you. Let me give you my business card, and I just pull out a sharpie, and then like just write on his arm, <laughs> on his go. forearm, like every, like all my info. Yep. Also, Dugan, that's definitely your screwdriver. That's my screwdriver. Hey, I don't think that's your screwdriver. I don't think it's yours. I just got it as a present. Yeah, I just no, gave it to her. It's fucking mine. I doubt oh. it's yours. You I had it for me. just a second ago. No, I don't think it's the right one. Because you see this one I just got. Listen up, you <laughs> chuckle fucks. You keep taking my shit, and I'm going to dismantle your entire house. I really think like you're being a little too hostile over no reason, because I really think that this one is mine because I just got it. Look, that's a custom job. You ever seen I a know, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, that's my screwdriver. Right it's patented. When you speak up and say that, Bunny, um, Gladys leans forward and she's like, um, yeah, this is probably all of you. And honestly, if it's not, it's probably within the club's best interest to um, introduce you all incrementally. And she hits a switch inside of there. And the metal gates that come down when the club is closed all come down um, like kind of locking you all here inside this area with the ticket booth and behind you you see the doors to the club open up properly and she just looks and she's like all right you all know the rules here okay neutral territory got it but remember if you offend the wrong person there's nothing to say that they won't pursue you either the next night or next day alternatively based on their own supernatural proclivities okay yeah you that's listening funny. You listening? You're lucky oh. this is neutral ground. Hey, that's a cool mechanism. Can I take a look at that? Uh, maybe on your way out, Dugan. Maybe on your way out. Uh, Dugan, we are here to party. And yeah, no uh, worries, because I'm a very pleasant person. You are very pleasant, Harlow. You are. Hey, wait, Bunny. Bunny. Yeah. You, you want to see a neat trick? I do. I do. I do. <laughs> Okay, I don't mean to be rude or nothing hollow, making picking fun at you here, but it's like, watch this. If you ask her a direct question, she can't tell you the truth. She can't do it. Watch this. 
Hello. Yeah? Is tonight Friday? Well, you know, that's a very interesting question because sometimes depending on the day and the time of day, like there's so many different time zones that like maybe it might be Friday, but maybe it's not Friday. Who's to say? I want to try. I want to try. Hello. 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 Yeah? You want some fuck? Now you see, I do want some fuck. However, um, we are about to go into this thing, and so you know, very, very Mel can't do this like right here and there, but like maybe <laughs> some other time. Like, maybe. Um, is that you, Bunny? I didn't recognize you out of all the boobs being in the way. How you doing? Oh, they're never in the way. Who are you? Uh, w well, it's it, we met like one time. It was me, Dix. You would need to be more specific. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good she's point. seen a lot of dicks. Yeah, she's a big sleuth. I know I know how these things go. It's okay. You're too easy for me anyways. I'd probably rather just, you know, hollow's more my speed, you know what I'm saying? Like I love you. You're okay. sweet. You're cute. You're adorable, John. but I'm just not really feeling it right now. Let's go inside. It's, it's yes, please make your way inside the establishment here and maybe just uh don't be yourselves if you if you would. <laughs> I promise nothing. <laughs> As you all go inside, the way the access is laid out is uh, for, for you all that, that have been here before is when you first come in, there is a what looks like a scene out of almost like a, a 1950s smoking lounge. Um, there's a lot of rich browns, woods. There is a long bar with uh, that is very well uh, stocked with all manner of uh, alcohol that you could think of. There is a, across from the bar, there is a large bonfire, uh, uh, not bonfire, like a hearth uh, that has some chairs that you could comfortably sit in front of that. Um, there is like a little humidor area where you can smoke cigars. And off each side, there are hallways that you know lead to all manner of rooms. Um, the access's claim to fame is basically every manner of pleasure can be found here, uh, whatever you want. Uh, if it is physical, if it is mental, if it is gambling, uh, games of chance, uh, there is an incredibly well-appointed um, library archive area that is uh, deeper into the club. But as you look straight ahead also, there is a dance floor that is on the other side of a very thickly paned glass. And even to get to it, you have to go through a two-stage process, almost like going onto a submarine, uh, so that the noise of the dance floor doesn't disturb everyone that is up here. So you can see people silently dancing down there, but uh, not even so much as the bass vibration is making it through in here. Uh, over by the bar, the two people tending bar um, are clearly unusual, even when you look at them. Uh, one of them is very, very pink. Uh, like his skin is, is almost like a Crayola pink, but he is wearing uh, like, a, like a black button-up shirt serving drinks. You see another woman coming in and out from the back who is green. Uh, she's light green is her skin uh, as she's going around uh, doing things. At the bar, you see a very well-dressed um, black man. Uh, he looks like he might be seven foot tall and 320 pounds. He is gigantic sitting by the bar. And he is talking to a blonde lady in a shimmery silver gown. Uh, and the two of them are leaned in very close. And while they seem to be having an intimate conversation, it is not necessarily a romantic one. It very much is like, as they're um, just trying to talk essentially where nobody else can like really quite easily hear them. And as you all are sort of looking around, uh, a familiar face starts to approach you um, as the maitre d' makes his way over to greet all of you. Um, his name is Higgins, uh, and he is the one that can point anyone to anything in this place. And as he walks up, he immediately is like, oh, Gwyneth, Ashante." Mm, yes. and, and he, he does kiss your hand mm -hmm. and he's like, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, Bunny, Harlow, Dix, Dugan. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what yes. How are you all this evening? Well, I mean, you know, friends. It's been in 
It's been everybody, interesting. Everybody talk at once. That's probably real good. Yes, yes, yeah. Gwyneth. Yes, sorry. You were saying something, Thank ma'am. Thank it's you. It's fucking horse shit. <sighs> we yeah, all have um, very distinct opinions about how the night is going. And uh, some of us are more vocal about those opinions. <laughs> It's surely it hasn't already gone astray. Is there anything I can get you? I, I see, um, based on the pupil dilation of Miss Harlow here, she's already having a lovely evening. Is there anything I can get for the the rest of you? Would you would you like um, party favors and uh, drinks? Um, you know, yeah. uh, Miss Miss Bunny, um, I did have your um, standard suite uh, properly appointed when I heard that you were coming. You'd be able to make access uh, use of it whenever you like. Thank you, Higgins. Mm, yes, thank yeah. you, thank you, Higgins. Yes, um, I uh, I couldn't possibly trouble you to bring me something unless, of course, you know, you happen to have my favorite champagne. <sighs> yeah, he literally goes. Champagne. And when he snaps his finger, the woman uh, with the green skin comes walking out uh, with a very long, almost impossibly long, crystal stem goblet and walks right up to you, Gwyneth. And he's like, oh, this, ma'am. Oh, fuck it. Give me one of those, too. Gwyneth got, like, the best taste. Yeah, get, uh, get, get one for my friend Dix as well. Thank you. Ooh, 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 I'm to try. That's a pretty fucking pink. rude. Does that happen to come in pink? It's... Can come in whatever you like, ma'am. And yes, yes, the Dick. And, yes, so yes, yes, Bunny. You you had a request as well. Oh, I just wanted to see if snapping got me anything else. Uh, he just like looks back and forth, <laughs> back each way, and he's all like, "God, you're fucking stupid, aren't you?" It's the Mr. You mean? Yes, it is not oh, necessary very nice. to be you all the time, sir. I can't and, be anybody else. Who else the fuck you want me to be? Nice. A little more like me, I think. Maybe um, bring him. Maybe bring him three drinks. Miss Bunny, what would you like the staff to bring you? Um, if you could bring all of my friends, um, drinks. Uh, we're going to go to my private room. Uh, I I think they'll all have fun there. I, will I just start. I just start stretching. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, then yes, please give the snap, ma'am. Oh shit! It's gonna be one of those nights. I'm gonna start stretching too. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys when, doing? When you do, we're uh, getting ready for festivities. <laughs> 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 the green skinned woman just sort of uh, bows a little and then uh, turns and goes and you see the red skinned man starts pouring drinks um, all along the place. Um, Gwyneth, give me your um, perception and alertness. You got it. I'm just finding what they are. Okay. I understand. <laughs> I suppose uh, I did not give um, the disclaimer uh, at, at the top of the show. You know, Changeling uh, is new to them for playing, and I haven't run it in about 20 years. So if we trip over something, we'll, we'll fix it later. That was yes. one success. One success. Um, when you tilt the champagne back and it is magnificent uh you have not tasted uh champagne of this quality from when you still were able to visit arcadia on occasion when you were a girl it absolutely tastes like home it's the best champagne while you are tilting it back and sort of just like letting that shiver go through you, you realize you feel a breeze blowing down from one of the hallways, which from your previous visits here, you know is where the museum is located. And even along the floor, a couple of dried leaves seem to blow by like they blew out of there. I'm going to just automatically start walking in that direction. And I think it, it must be stated that my walk is like ridiculously slow, not just in this moment, just like everywhere I go. 
very dramatic in her in, mm-hmm. in, in, <laughs> intentional yeah. in her gait. There's like uh, a, a like a catwalk wind created with every step I take. It's this is just this is a glamour that I maintain at all times. Um, so I'm going to very dramatically walk toward the museum. Is she starts to head down that hallway there. Um, Higgins leans over towards you, Bunny, and he's like, um, if I might escort you all, um, I will see to it that uh, Miss Gwyneth is brought um, forthwith. Where is she going? I thought she was so eager to get started. Um, my lady likes to take her time. Not everyone has your endurance, Bunny. Okay, Higgins, let's go. <laughs> Try and lose the one with the black shirt. Are we going somewhere else? And you see that I've I've somehow have a now have a straw in my champagne glass. <laughs> we going somewhere else now? He extends an arm uh, out to both of you, and he's like, um, "As I said, we have uh, Miss Bunny's." personal quarters uh, arranged for her in her guests. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to show you. I'm ready. I've been doing yoga for like a month now. <laughs> that will help. <laughs> uh, as you all are, are sort of uh, quietly escorted down one of the opposite hallways, uh, Gwyneth, as you come down um, the hallway, you see um, a painting that I will describe, but I'm going through the wonder of technology. I'm also going to put in chat so that you can see exactly what it is. Um, it looks like... Uh, nope. Not quite that one. Let's see. That one. Uh, it, it looks like a woman, um, in a chariot carrying a torch, uh, and a man is approaching her like he's angry at her and about to draw his sword. Uh, it looks like this there for you all in chat. I mean, our chat, not you in chat. Sorry. Theater of the mind for you all. It looks very classy. Very classy. Pinky up top flight all the way uh and gwyneth you also realize uh, it is not behind glass like it is just pure tapestry there uh, you are muted ma'am sorry do i have some sort of association with this painting um roughly how long has gwyneth been here like i mean she lived most of her life in arcadia like how, how long do you do you feel like she's been in new york um, I think she's been in New York basically since the city was founded. Mm-hmm. Um, but she's, she was in Europe before that since about the like 1500s. Um, do you think she's a particular art lover? Oh yeah. Uh, then give me either perception or intelligence, whichever's higher. And either academics or enigmas, whichever is going to be higher. Great. I'm rolling um, intelligence and enigmas, and that's four successes. Um. You do recognize something about this that I will tell you separately. Uh, But what I will say out loud right now is um, this painting is very old and that is probably an original. So this is a a very old, very valuable painting, uh, especially to be sitting out here uncovered. Okay. Um, You, I'm, I'm awaiting the, um, the extra information, but meanwhile, I may as well ask. Um, you said this is hanging like a tapestry, mm-hmm. uncovered. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I want to take it down off the wall and roll it up. 
Um, as you reach out to touch it, you hear a voice that seems like it's coming from everywhere, kind of all at once. It says, please don't. It's very dear to me. Great. So I take out my cell phone and then I pause for a second. I'm like, oh, so, so stupid. And I take out, like I, I make a motion like I'm taking out another cell phone and sort of a, like a mist is it, like a cell phone shaped mist is in my hand and I hold it up and like, chink, like I'm taking a picture and then, and the mist kind of like dissipates into the, um, the air around me. And then I make a motion like I'm putting a cell phone away and turn my back on it. Oh, so the stories are true. Um, in certain circles, it's quite rude to speak to someone without, you know, coming forward. When you say that, so this, the painting, Amanda, you come down the hallway and it basically dead ends at the painting. And you can kind of go to the right or to the left where various artifacts are set up here. And there's paintings on the wall, but, you know, sometimes there's um, like there's pedestals that might just look like a pot, like a, like, a, like a hair comb, a hand mirror, just like things from across time. But there's no like meaningful pattern to what these things are. It's not like, oh, this is the Greek exhibit, you know, like it's just relics from bygone eras uh, essentially here um and this space would basically either be um, the equivalent of a small museum or a very impressive personal collection um and as you say that over towards your left you feel that breeze picks up again and as it begins to coalesce um it appears to look like uh, a woman uh she looks like she is made out of uh white mist uh and it is actually sort of uh and she's transparent uh when you look at her which i also will send to you all via our chat what she looks like here again wonders of technology and you notice, even though you are very much indoors, uh, dried leaves like blow around her feet while she's standing there looking at you. And again, she's semi-transparent, very clearly a ghost. Do I know her? Never seen her before. I don't believe we've had the pleasure to meet. Uh... I'm Gwyneth, obviously. I, uh, I'd love to make your acquaintance. She curtsies slightly and she looks down and she says, Would it offend you terribly if I didn't give my name just yet? I find once people have it, they tend to relate to me very differently. I'll take something else instead. Hmm. And she points at the painting and she's like, you've already taken something. Although I'm not quite sure I've worked out the manner of sorcery just yet. Fair enough. You strike me as, um, you know, being someone. We should be friends is what I'm trying to say. When you say that, like, her features are very, they're, they're slightly muted. It's not like she's got a distinct, fully formed face, even though she clearly has a feminine outline. And when you say we should be friends, you see enough like her eyes widen for a moment. And she says, friends, I would like that. I have not had any friends for a very long time. Well, to seal the deal, I'll give you something in return. And I pull out like the missed cell phone and kind of swipe down. And then for a moment, I'm like, 
there and like send over a, a mist that kind of um, enters her brain or its brain. And uh, the she now knows a part of algebra that she's never known before. What's this you're doing? Of course, I said we're friends, right? Like, it's good for to, to be, you know, on friendly terms with people with power. It is within your power to bestow the calculations of the philosophers. Well, um, yes, amongst many other things. <laughs> Forgive me, Gwyneth, I do not know how long we have to speak before you are pulled away by some other happening or important meeting for a woman of your caliber. But at the risk of being forward, I believe you and I are of a similar kind. You are a woman of power and influence, and yet you are a woman of constraint. So am I. Well, I may have some constraints, but I, I've always, you know, told myself that it's, it's for the best. I mean, it, it's good to have some things holding you back. How else can you rise to challenges? How else can you grow unless there's, there's something keeping you down? That is an unusual perspective. I wonder if those that have journeyed here with you tonight would share your enlightened viewpoint, or do they simply eschew all boundaries and cast off all limitations and simply live in the moment? Do you think this bunny believes that struggle is the key to self-awareness? A satyr like her doesn't know enough about life to understand what's really important. She's, she's learning. I envy her clarity to simply engage in what she wants. I once engaged in what I wanted to, and it brought no clarity. It only brought cost. Well, I, I mean, I had a rather wild time in the late 1800s, but <laughs> it's of no consequence. They, and they, they don't need to know, by the way, um, about me. It shall remain between friends. Might I offer you something? Of course, as long as we're giving gifts back and forth. Soon, you will be made an offer. It will seem harmless. Should you take it, it will put you on a path that will decide the fate of not just this city, but perhaps this plane of existence. You know, with all due respect, I receive a lot of offers every day. I'm a very important person. I, I, I think it might be uh, uh, helpful if I had a little more context about which offer in particular you're referring to. She reaches towards where a neck would be and it seemed like pulls what if she were corporeal wearing a necklace and as she does you do see like a string start to manifest with a small bronze key on it and she goes through the motions like she's unhooking it and you even see like spectral hair kind of dangles in it for a moment when she does and she holds it out to you and she says, it is not my place to make the offer. It is only my place to give you a vision of the cost. There will come a time that you will be lost and trapped. When that time comes, this key will be of some assistance. I 
I take the key um, and I put it around my neck and kind of like tuck it into my dress so it's not showing. Mm-hmm. Um, are you saying I should take the offer then? I made the mistake of trying to dictate fate once before. You are an intelligent woman and you have lived this long for a reason. And despite appearances, those other ones are all very capable in their own unique ways. But your choices well, are your own. That's that's true. I feel I feel maybe we've gotten off on the wrong foot. I I I, I don't think you quite understood my intentions with the painting. It was certainly not to take anything. Uh, I. Let me make it up to you somehow. I do not feel offended, but if we are going to continue this give and take and ebb and flow of gratuity, I do not think I could keep pace with you for long. Well, it's it's only proper etiquette. It's the right thing to do. But... How about we book a coffee date sometime? Hmm. My treat. And now you see what looks like a smile come across her face, too, along with the the eyes perking up a little bit. And she says, I would find that quite pleasing. I am always here. I uh I may not have gotten your name, but I trust I can call upon you when I need you. I would never decline the call from a friend. Now, might I provide one parting service for you? Of course. The axis is <laughs> labyrinthine. There are many places here and many places where a wrong turn could cast you lost and wandering for many hours. And there are also places for discretion and hedonism that are set back farther from prying eyes and easily offended ears. Might I deliver you towards your new associate's quarters. It would be unbecoming for me to get lost, so I heartily accept the offer. She extends her hand out for you to take it. I am... Um... very gently like hover hand over her hand as you get closer to it it's very cool it almost feels like fog but it tingles on your skin like um completely betraying my age tube tvs it used to be the static electricity near it mm-hmm. <laughs> is is what it feels like when you get close to her hand And she turns in, as she starts to walk, she says, perhaps when we meet again, you might allow me to ask you about what life was like in Arcadia. These stories sound unspeakably beautiful, but I would love to hear from a native. You've... You've never been? It was not available even for one like me. Of course, of course. I gladly. And as you all make your way through the club, uh, Bunny, uh, in the Axis, things like uh, expense are not a factor 
even things like um, <laughs> gravity and Euclidean physics or Newtonian physics, <laughs> Euclidean geometry is what I was thinking, and <laughs> Newtonian physics are negotiable. <laughs> What is Bunny's um, apartments in here uh, like? Um, so it's, does everyone remember the elephant room scene in Moulin Rouge? I imagine it's quite a bit like that, um, but with more glitter. Uh, and far more alcohol within a fingertips reach. Um, there's probably like like a candy dish by the front door full of pharmaceuticals. Um, but you know, just just a, a cozy den of sin. <laughs> uh, and as you make your way in there, uh, it is. Exactly like you'd hoped. The incense is burning like you like. Um, there are already uh, a couple of bed warmers there who have um, begun enjoying each other so that the party is in full swing by the time uh, that you all enter. But as you turn and your eyes sort of survey the room and you feel, you know, happiness swelling up inside of you, Bunny. There's something here that doesn't belong. You feel it instinctively, Bunny. You know every stitch of fabric, every curtain, every hidey hole in this place because you've experienced every single one of them. Something in here is out of place. Um... In about half a second's time, Bunny goes from excitedly just clapping uh, to she'll stomp over to where the, the bed warmers are getting started. Get the fuck out of here. Get out. Now. Uh, uh, now. It's, it's, oh. Um, <clears throat> Get the oh, fuck okay. out. And they sort of like yank a sheet, like wrap it around their waist, like cover the best that they can uh, and head out. But like I can stay though, right? Shut the fuck up. I think now that's I'll, I'll sort of like pace the perimeter of the room trying to figure out what is off. Uh, Bunny, what's, what's going on? Someone has been in here who was not supposed to be in here. There is something it, that is not right. It does smell kind of weird. Oh. That, that is on purpose. That covers up a lot of things you don't want to smell. Oh, S storyteller. Yes, Dix. Before I abuse this power, mm -hmm. I like where this is headed. So I can look back in time, mm -hmm. according to backward glance. Can I just do that? Because it kind of sounds like I, it's wonderfully vague. Uh, let me read it real quick here. So yeah, under Chronos, backward glance. Mm-hmm. I bet you got 2020 vision with that. Yeah, sure do. Yeah, you. <clears throat> it says to roll, but this is what to roll. Um, yeah, I was wondering that too. I don't know if it was like per dot you have in the in the the art or. Yeah, I, I think that's what it is. Yep. Because okay. none none of these have any other um um. Dice pool, so I just roll roll as many dice as you have in that art. Uh, I got three successes. Um, as you sort of like open your eyes and, and look out across this place, uh, well, first let me ask Bunny. Uh, you're a socialite. You spend time here, but uh, do you feel like you've been here in the last week, or would she have been, uh, you know, ranging further and wider in that time? Uh, who can remember? I go so many places. I, I, uh, I, I not sober. <laughs> uh, Dix, you witness a fairly elaborate photo shoot for fans only. Oh, fuck um, shit. With an even more elaborate after party, 
uh, that you didn't think were possible. That's the Seder's legs been different though. Like it's oh okay, that's oh oh okay. Uh, and as you're going that's back, behind the paywall. <laughs> most of the believe it or not, most of the time that she's not here. Uh, the room is quiet. They they respect her wishes. This is kind of her place. So unless they kind of come in and are cleaning and fluffing everything, giggity, uh, it is <laughs> relatively uh, unchanged here. And as you go back right about to the limits of what you can see, you do see one night while it is particularly dark in here. A light comes on under her bed. It just lights and glows momentarily and then kind of goes out. It's almost like somebody casts a beam almost from like a flashlight, but from under the bed, like they're looking around Hmm. and then it goes out. That was about a week ago. Hey, Bunny, you uh. Seems like a stupid question, but after seeing some of the other stuff you get up to, it feels like maybe not so crazy. Do you have, like, anybody living under your bed? Huh? Not like this a... year. <laughs> well, I mean, just I think somebody might have been under your bed, like, a week ago. So, you know, I don't how know could... if you're, like... How could you possibly know that? I see things. See what things? Like, stuff and things. <laughs> I, I, will, I will go look under my bed. I will I will bend in an extraordinarily practiced manner to do so as well. <laughs> practiced to what end, by the way? I mean or or I think we all know we're all adults here. Let's not be dumb. <laughs> making sure. Just making sure. You know, just making sure. Uh is you lean down and look under your bed uh for a moment. It is complete darkness, quite frankly, too dark um, under there. And just right when you think you're like, no, that Pisky is just like, that Pisky's fucking with me. He just wanted to watch me bend over. Like right right when that like that thought starts to form in your mind, you hear, oh, well, just, apologies, Miss, Miss Bunny here. I, said, I didn't, I just, just didn't want to intrude, uh, but... Is it awkward? It's not the no good way to tell a lady that you're lurking under her bed. There is it. Uh, yes, there is. I I was in that movie, but you should really come out. That's really inappropriate. I would have just invited you. Oh, that's 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 the trick there. You see, uh, you you, you would invited me because a I'm the one that invited all of you here tonight. No, uh, but this is my room. Um, but I, I kind of, kind of knew that Miss Buddy, if I just, if I brought you with the, the, the looker like Miss Harlow and uh, even, even Mister Dix, that uh, then you end up in, in your room. Even, even Miss Gwyneth, like she, she's a wild woman. You get, you get a couple cocktails hey, what the in her. Am I? Chop liver. He, uh, you're, 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 you're a cameraman over there. No, that's what you are. You're, you're, the, you're the help there, buddy. Oh, but I'm that's, sorry, that's, uh, Dugan. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can make you a fucking camera if that's what you want. Uh, <laughs> Take yeah. pictures you can't even imagine all the well, way through. Why, why don't you come on out? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. And he's like, oh, if you, if you don't mind, I'll come out. The, come out. Come out the other side. There. He's saying so sometimes it's not not always like that. That uh, it can be a little unnerving. You know what to watch. Yeah, how, uh, just, uh, just one second here and for those of you that are a little further across the room you see a very long white seven fingered hand slide slowly across the floor with a black robed arm and then a moment later another one comes out and a face starts to appear from under the bed that looks like a very pale man with very high cheekbones. He's very gaunt with long, stringy white hair and his eyes are nictitating. They close from left to right. And he's like, and he slides out from under it. And afterwards pulls a long, a big lantern out from under and puts it on top of the bed as he stands up. He's like, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, well, uh, good evening to you here. Glad uh, I had to 
I did hadn't hadn't intended to disturb the festivities. Just say I was hoping you uh, have have a little fun and then you unwind and then we talk a little business after. So apologies, apologies for that, there, uh, Miss Bunny. <laughs> okay. I, I will say that I was a little distracted when because I was watching Miss Bunny bend over to to see a nice so because I didn't see the hands. I was just <laughs> I hissed. So I I, I didn't mean to be so uh, confrontational. Uh, no, 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 no offense at all, there, there, Miss Harlow. I, I understand that's a that is a uh, that that is a reaction I'm, I'm accustomed to, and uh, quite frankly, uh, deserve not not ins- insignificant amount of time. Uh, where where um by chance uh, where would Miss Gwyneth get off to? I hate repeating myself, you see, and if if I'm explain to you what what it is I brought you all here for, it kind of like if all uh all you, all 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 you, all you hear it, you see. So, so. Hopefully, she's getting herself a drink and calming down. Yeah, where is Her Majesty? And I don't that know. Exactly, you off. The door opens, and Gwyneth is standing there, but you all do not see the ghost. You just see her. Oh, now you grace us with your presence. Uh, you are muted, ma'am. I had business to attend to. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're more important than all of us. When Harlow oh, bows, yes. <laughs> when Harlow bows, you even see he just sort of like, oh, eh, <laughs> excuse me, ma'am. And he pulls out of his the back of his robe a very long, wicked knife, but like salutes with it. And he's like, eh, yeah, yeah, on it mm. to a lady. And, and he like twirls it like multiple times and it just like disappears back behind his robe. Neat trick. So chivalrous. Hey, do you need that? Do you need that thing? Can I have it? Uh that that one that one that one's got to go with me, Mister Dix. And I, I would, uh, uh, friend to friend, I, I'd, I'd I'd heavily advise you against trying to trying to trying to nick. Hey, man, I me. like I'm just saying, you Steve, keep over there, and I'll my hands can only go so far. I mean, unless I, well, that's fine. Yeah, you just stay over there, and we'll tr- we'll do our best. Okay. It's no, it's uh, I appreciate lots, lots of shiny point. things in here. Hey, yeah, Miss Bunny, you might want to run a bit of an inventory once you get this guy out of here. Uh, yeah, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. <laughs> There is nothing people want to steal. Uh, first, uh, house rule: uh, no shoes on the the floor pillows, uh, no pants. Already um, there. <laughs> he lifts up the robe, and you see that he's got seven toes on his pale feet, also. And he's like, uh, "Same, actually. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, I guess comes in handy." Uh, let me tell you all uh, why, why, why it is that. Why it is I've, I've, I've invited you here. You see, um, <clears throat> no, uh, no good way to say this. So uh, I want you all to steal something from me. And I did say steal something from me. Mm, you said a lot of words that had really triggered me right now. And that's a good place for us to take a little break. So <laughs> we'll take a quick 10. <laughs> Quick ten, uh, and then we'll come back and jump uh, right back into this. So don't go nowhere. <laughs> Bet you won't, Nora. Do it. <laughs> and we're back. Everybody thought I wouldn't do it, but here I am with old timey voice, bringing us back onto a part two of our series, Changeling Dreaming Across New York. Throwing it back to our lovely GM, B.J. Walters. Perfect. I just, I, it's every, every time, every time we do something at the last second to like try and freak each other out right before the countdown. And she was about to say something and then she paused and I'm like, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Maybe do it. Maybe do it. Maybe do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I did it. Uh, also, since I'm a consummate <laughs> professional, nowhere along the way did I tell you the name of this episode was Believe Only Half of What You See. Uh, is the name of this episode. Uh, with that being said, we do have a special message from our Q Times production <laughs> overlord. <laughs> now I so want to do the voice. Uh, <laughs> do it! Do it! Coming in from Q Times, we are sitting at 83% of our stream boost. If you manage to get us all the way to 100%, our show will actually show up on the home screen as a promoted show. So you're almost there. Get us there. You're all wonderful. Now back to our show. Do it. <laughs> Do it. 
<laughs> that was the bee's knees. It was. The eel tips, <laughs> baby. Meow. It's true. Um, the A's business. Yeah. The eel's hips is my favorite one of those, by the way. <laughs> so, so much so. In electropunk, I named a club the Eels Hips just so I could say that that often. Uh, but yes. eels don't have hips. <laughs> um, I mean, have you I'm leaving. Goodbye forever. <laughs> it's, it's you know, good. Uh, we're we're still gonna follow you on OnlyFans, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so these wonderful, disastrous human beings here, um, we have been invited to the Axis, which is a neutral territory club uh, for all the supernaturals of New York City, in which Miss Bunny uh, has a, a, an apartment here that uh, she has often made use of to uh, entertain callers of uh, whoever she chooses. Uh, she is uh, always Welcome at the Axis, and having brought her new associates into the room to have a little fun, it became apparent quickly that something was amiss in here, and it has been revealed that there was, in fact, someone under the bed uh, who has now extracted himself and stood up and revealed himself to all of you who understand what the other Kithane are as a slua. And he has asked you to steal something from him and stood there afterwards like that means something so are you the guy that put the thing on my calendar yeah yeah and uh, well i put a thing on her calendar you say that's how she she does it she lives a life by the, by the day think dog. we share calendars yeah yeah Oh, oh, well, no, uh, the invitation for you, I put uh, etched into a gold lighter that a man walking by was going to be twiddling in his uh -huh. fingers, just thinking you were going to help yourself to it. Like, if you, if you oh, yeah. check the lighter, it's, it says, Dicks, be here at this time. Then I, but... Oh, shit. He's right, though. I thought that right. meant something else. It's still my bunny. Still, still, it's still open my. to interpretation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and also, Mr. Dugan, Mr. Dugan, uh, Mr. Dugan, uh, I know uh, um, uh, you. You are you are uh, as brilliant as you are beautiful, sir. And um, uh, yeah, I thought it might be your your techno uh, expertise might might be some some use. And also, 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 uh, you in particular, sir, gonna play a play a bigger part in this than might might have anticipated. That's, that's how that goes. Oh yeah, I'm a fucking genius. So yeah. I would think. Also humble. Also humble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look, I just lay it straight. Hey, that happens a lot in this in this, in this room. If I, if I, if I, if I say, yeah, yeah, yes, Miss Bunny, yes, Miss Bunny. I appreciate that. That was for you, ma'am. That, that 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 that's respect to you and 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 in the work you do. Yeah, the big big fan, big fan, a uh, top level subscriber. I am also. <laughs> Why don't you explain what the fuck you're talking about? When you're older, when you're older, son. Yeah, you, you uh, probably like. Uh, you know how you get really feeling good about like electronics and like you like making stuff work and stuff. Yeah, it's like a biological kind of response to that sort of thing before boobs and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I understand that. Everybody's oh. got a thing. Yeah, you know when you when you're like you're like balls deep in this gear work and it's like going together perfect and you get like that feeling that rush where you're like oh my god this is gonna mm, i know exactly what it's gonna do yeah and uh and yeah. yeah yeah no i don't but i'm really happy if, for by, if by gear work you mean fill in the blank with anything you guys want to <laughs> i have visual aids <laughs> like like a pipe you know when you when you run that pipe right down the the exact conduit and it fits just perfect Oh yeah, yeah. That's, about no, or not. that is a great feeling. <laughs> um, uh, I, I think, I think, uh, yeah, we're 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 all we're all, we're all on the same page of the line. line what would you like us to okay. feel? Huh? It's a. Uh, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little complicated, you see, and and and, that, and that's the problem, uh, and and, and that's uh, and, and I realized that what this is gonna sound like, even even uh, when when I tell you, and I, I need you to steal something that I've got, but I seem to have forgotten. Uh, I put it that don't somewhere. Make any goddamn sense. Well, if it was simple, I'd have done it myself, there, sir. That's why. That's why I contracted. I believe. Uh, what was it? You said uh, the fucking genius. That's 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 why I need your help. You see. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I am fucking genius. Yes. Yeah, also true, Ms. Bunny. Yeah, 100%. Currently. Why in particular are 
our services required? Um, I, 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 I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't mean to to to, to offend any of you, you see, but uh, most of you, uh, shall we say, have uh, uh, flown under the radar of uh, of, of of society here. You know, so you, you you all are, um, uh, you, 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 your names are known uh, in the kingdom of apples here, but uh, uh, Dutch of the Golden Sigil in New York, you know, but uh, but not necessarily um, major movers and shakers, you see, like you, you can get in places, but nobody's going to notice you there, you see, like you know people, but they're not going to tell anybody they talk to you, you understand, that's, uh, that's, 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 that's why I need you all, you got like, just enough access to do the job with just enough anonymity to get away with it, that, that's, 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 uh, yeah, that's, uh, I, t- I do tend to blend in. Uh, well, exactly. You're saying that, that you 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 can get anywhere you want. Is a harm's harm's little kitty cat. And then and Dix, Dix, Dix is just uh, I mean, the guy never talking, looks the same. This is, this is what I do. Yeah, yeah. That's it's it's what it's, 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 it's what all of you do in a, in a manner of speaking. Uh, Miss Gwyneth is uh information information for stock and trade. That, that, that's that is. And and, and Miss Bunny, Miss Bunny knows how to uh uh get people to do what she wants them to do. And, and, and that's that's when. Yes, yeah, that's that's what she's for. So all all of you, all of you, bring you know, your unique skills to the table. That is what that is. And uh, in exchange, uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm prepared to pay. I'm I'm prepared to pay uh, with money, or I'm prepared to pay with uh, something that maybe actually matters. I mean, I do like money, though. Yeah, but what matters more than that? Oh, lots of things, sweetheart. Money at I least. No, but I'm waiting. I was gonna let him answer. Yeah, well, she, she, right. she's, she's she, no, yeah. See, you see, you're you're very you're very direct. You're very direct, Mister Duke. But see, she, she, she's she's a shrewd negotiator. There, you're saying that's what she's not telling me what she wants. She wants me to be like, oh, this is what you can have. And then she's like, oh, yeah. but I more. Yeah, right now. I'm a shrewd. Uh, I'm a shrewd. What he said. Absolutely. Tra- tra- credit to your community. Kapuka's everywhere. Yeah, that, that, that's your Miss Harlow. Uh, let me ask you a question, ma'am. Let me ask you a question. Um, um, you ever been to the Dreaming, uh, Miss Harlow? I don't, I, don't, I don't know how, how old you are. It's rude to ask a lady your age. You, 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 spend, you spend, much, spend much time over, over, over there? That part? Oh, you know, here and there. Who's to say? Anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, well, here's the thing. I, I got, I got a, uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm an individual of some, of some influence. You see, uh, I, oh, I get around. Oh, you're an influencer. Uh, no. In, <gasps> no, not, not, no. That, that, that's, no? yeah, that, that, that's Sheena. No, no, mo- don't know my name. You don't know nobody. You don't, you don't, oh. don't want that getting out. My, in I fact, gonna my, ask you for, I was going to ask you for a promo code, but okay. If, if I do my job properly, you never know I was there. You say that, that's 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 how that works. Yeah. What but, did you say your name was? I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, you you could uh, you you could just refer to me as Slua. That's yeah, that, so yeah. that's typically uh, responded to with one's name. I hey, don't even try to re- don't try to understand these. Also, that's you kind of right? and I don't like all of them. That's like Kithist. If I were just to call you slow, that doesn't seem fair to you, you know? Uh, yeah, no, but I'm consenting to it, you know? Like, like maybe not every slower. You can't be like, hey, what's up, slower? Like, they might oh. like, they might take a great offense to it. But <laughs> me personally, no, it's... Uh, Mr. Okay. Slower, sir. Yes, Miss Bunny, ma'am. Can, can you tell us what we are supposed to steal for you? <sighs> I know what this is going to sound like, even as I say it, but uh, I don't remember. That's it. It's, it's it's taken from me. The the, the item, uh, I don't know if it's taken from me or not, but 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 the memory of it is taken from me. But there, but there's a there's a hole where it should be. You see what I'm saying? Like a like a like a. I yes. have an idea. Yes, Miss Bunny. I'm gonna walk over to Harlow, and I'm gonna whisper something to her and hold out my hand. I know he just gave it to you, but maybe that's the thing. He said he just lost it. That's a big brain play. Wait, what is it? The screwdriver. Oh, Oh, wait, you mean this thing? Hey, no, that's my fucking screw drill. No, it's my present. I just got it earlier. 
You could ask anybody. I'm it's asking true. you. Did he give it to you? You just saw that Dix gave it to me earlier. So yeah, you're saying it. he gave it to you. It was a lost thing and now it's found. It's not, you know, it just wound up in my hands. Um, but it's mine. We did it. We found it. it. Uh, uh, no, you you found you found you found a a a missing thing. No, no, no. That's not that's not it's not 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 oh, not, not, not no mm, no no. Oh, it's, uh, nuts. So wait, like um, how long ago did you lose the thing? I don't know what this is thing you're doing over here, but yeah, you know what it is. Give me my fucking s screw drill. Hey, Gooden, why don't you just chill a sec, okay? Yeah. <laughs> What hey, is that? Uh, uh, recently, I, 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 I was away. I, I, I was, I was ranging. I was ranging quite a ways. I was, I was, I was off uh, in, 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 in the Shadowlands. Um, I don't know if you ever been there. And says where the, the, where the dead go. And um, uh, don't really recommend, really. But I was there on business. Had had to do a job. When did the job? Got back. Realized I, I was missing something. I was, I, was, I, was, I was missing pieces, you see. And then, I, and then I, I went through it all. And it, you know, I because I, I I also deal in knowledge, like like, like uh, Miss Gwyneth, you see. That's a, that's a, but uh, but uh, I sort of sort of all keep it in the vault up here, you see. And then and, and it's like one one of the drawers got raided. Is, is what that is. So uh, uh, you sure sticky fingers over here didn't take what you were looking for? I could have absolutely taken it. You know, there's 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 non-zero chance, Mr. Dix, but I feel like usually uh my my my, my security is, a, is 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 top flight. It's a, I feel like whatever it is is where I left it. It's just I don't remember what it is or where I put it. You huh. see, that's it. Well, that's like, the... Do you think maybe I could just look into your past? You're gonna like stab me or something if I try to do that? So I put your hands in your pants. I'd I'd, I'd 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 advise against uh, paying paying too close attention to where I where I've been. Yeah, maybe maybe don't. Maybe may, may, maybe don't. Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. I just wanted to wanted your consent, like with the slew of thing. But it, it, no, I, I thank you for checking in. Uh, Save me from uh, from having to murder you in your sleep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. I, I would, uh, maybe don't. Mm -mm, no. You'd have done the world a fucking favor if you asked me. Not not everybody has the your technical acumen and Jesus, uh, G Jesus, uh, G genius, genius. That's a uh, Jesus. You're a genius. <laughs> as, as I knew that. No, I'm Ms. Bunny and me there. Sorry, uh, sorry, Miss Miss Bunny. I'm confused. I'm confused. And if this isn't the thing that you're looking for, and then sticky fingers over here didn't take the thing that you're missing. What is it that you're missing? He looks at you, Gwyneth. He's like. I actually was hoping that maybe uh maybe you might help me uh un, un, uh fill in fill in at least uh the first the first piece there if if that's uh something you might be able to do for me there uh Miss Gwyneth. How am I supposed to know to trust you exactly? <laughs> oh, you shouldn't. No, ma'am. No, no. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. But, uh, but, but a deal's a deal and reputation's everything. So, you yeah, know, uh, if I say I'm going to do a thing, I've got to do it. Yeah. That, that's how that goes. Okay. So, like, I understand that. And I'm totally on board for deals because I like it when there are things in things for me. Giggity. But also, Come before right we hop into accepting this, because I don't trust you on account of you saying I shouldn't. Maybe you should give us some payment up front. Oh, you all are so bad at having fun! Listen, <laughs> listen. Is this what you're looking for? Do you show him the key? Yeah. He looks at it for a moment. He's like, mm, not ringing any bells. I mean, got my fair share of keys, I suppose. That's, uh, don't know that yeah. one. Huh. Let's give this man an award. He can tell the difference between a bell and a key. <laughs> Uh, um, storyteller, I'm not sure if I'm missing something that I'm supposed to know here. Uh, I don't want to pick up what you're putting down, but I feel a little lost. <laughs> just your 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 access to the cloud. Gotcha. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, so it, with that being said, I uh, I like tuck the keyway, and I'm like. 
great. It's what they all want. And I pull hey, out. Can I take a look at that key? No. I pull out the missed cell phone and I like swipe down and then swipe through and I'm like check my notifications to see if there's anything that's popped up of relevance. Um, there is the, um, you know, standard constant influx uh, of information coming and going, but nothing that like immediately jumps out at you. Hey, uh, check the Ebays and that Craigslist thing. I find a lot of good junk on there. Oh, I make lots of friends on Craigslist. <laughs> I just kind of ignore them, and I'm like, if there's something you need from me, I think I need you to be a little more specific. That um, Facebook marketplace. Now, uh, you you all are, are running into running into my uh, to, to to my quandary here. I, I can't be more specific, you see, like because if I just if I knew what I was after, I just I just I, I go get it myself. You see, that, that did that, you not... check the dumpster in the alley? I find a lot of good shit in there too. Right. Oh, that, that is a good point, though, if we knew where to look. I, 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 again, I, I don't know that you all, are, well, all, all are quite understand what I'm trying to tell you. I came, I came back from the Shadowlands, you say, and my memory was gone, right? And so oh. I don't recall... Well, what 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 it, what, it, what it is what it is that 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 that's that's missing? You say, oh, and, man, and, and, I, and, I am so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. No, no, it's not in the Shadowlands. No, I didn't take anything with me. Into well, I took some things into the was Shadowlands it, and brought some things out of the Shadowlands. But that was that was all business. You say that's what that was that was business. Was it the little blue pill that you took? Oh, I I, I don't require the little blue pill because if it's been more time. than four hours. You're gonna be in a little bit of trouble. It's yeah, no, I, I you, I, I do, I do enjoy, I do enjoy, yeah, yeah, you, you, you do in particular. That's it, uh, that's it. Uh, you, you're, in, you're in an entertainment sort. No, I, no, Miss, 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 Miss Gwyneth. Um, he sort of like looks both ways, and he just like leans in a little, and he says, uh. <clears throat> And this this sort of put me in, in a compromising situation, you see, because I sort of don't just tell the world some of the things I got, some of the things that I got hidden and where, you see, but but I realize the best way in the world to hide something is to get me to hide it and then forget it. No one's ever going to think of what I thought of. Hey, you know, that's a pretty good, that's, I wonder if I could make a machine that could rip those memories right out of your head and then you could pay me for it. And then I just give you the thing and you, you, you know, you don't have to do all this elaborate shit and it just reaches in and rips that right out. I don't know that I want memories ripped out of my head, but, uh, you know, the, the you know, knockers are, 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 are people of, 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 of extreme capability there. You see, damn That's right. It. We are. Yeah. But if, uh, if you're able to forget stuff and just have it like, like poof out your brain how do you even know you you i mean you could be not you and you wouldn't even know it because somebody could change it well now you oh, understand. Yeah, no. oh my back. god what if i'm not me oh no, I mean, no, no 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 that's just a bad trip just sit down sit down i'm probably start not because of the pills you gave me it's okay is it's from okay the, is this from the pills you gave me look at me okay I apologize for the existential fear I just put into everybody's hearts, but it was a purely directed at the gentleman ahead of us. I'm uh, you know, no, I'm, I'm 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 pretty sure that that I'm that I'm who I am. Yeah, and uh, you understand the problem. The fact that somebody could take it from me, even mentally, is 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 troubling. It's troubling. It's true, but I feel okay. like a. They might be going to steal what it is right now, or more. Again, just intend to let it just like waste away for the to the eons of time. But just the fact that somebody wants me not to have it means I got to get it back. You see, that's that's. Uh, I realized what this sounds like. This is, but you understand. That's why I had to come to you all. Cause Listen, if, if, I, I understand. I've seen everything. But the problem is to access what i know i just need a a crumb a starting place of some kind i have bound boundless information at my fingertips here i need a place to begin the search 
Hey, uh, here. Let me let me see your little thingy there, and uh, I can uh, I can do like a like a facial recognition thing. You take a picture of his head, and it like goes in, and uh, maybe it'll like check the local area and see the wretched, you know, see if he was somewhere that we can start looking. Could just look into his past. But dudes wants to kill me. It's fine. Be fair, you deserve it. Yeah, you 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 don't you don't you don't want you don't want to see where I've been, uh, Mister Dick. You don't want to see where I've been. Um, he sort of just sits for a second and he's like uh miss 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 bunny um not not to uh not 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 to intrude on you uh, on you here but uh, you 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 um you 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 have some some insight and in, in, into emotions and things of that nature right yes uh i'm i'm i'm, I'm wary of giving away the 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 details of my comings and goings to 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 mr Dix here you know that's uh that that's uh you you, you, you don't you don't want to know any of that but uh but miss bunny do do you have any way of um understanding like 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 emotions and uh, the memory might be gone but maybe the feelings remain i, I don't know i'm 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 spitballing here you see spitballing do i have that ability Oh, oh, see, I don't know what abilities Bunny possesses. Yeah, uh, so uh, satyrs in general are, are very nature-based and can commune with nature. Bunny in particular um, has a lot of specialities to do with emotion and control and manipulation. Uh, so perhaps I, I, can, I can probably try and coax out a, a, a buried a recessed memory somehow let's um we'll, we'll go slightly slightly off road with this here and you can just roll as many dice as you've got in the art okay okay let's see if you can pick up uh, a a bit of a psychic trail off of cool, him cool, cool. um she'll kind of just step up and and very cautiously because he is a slua and he doesn't seem to like being around a swarm or squishy or um, magical creatures. She's just going to kind of run the the knuckles of her hand along the side of his face, and that's three successes on three dice. He is um, kind of cool and almost clammy when you touch him. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, but he doesn't flinch or anything. And you get a flash of three pieces of information, Bunny. Okay. All right. You get a very warm feeling of home. You get a very sharp feeling of betrayal. And you get a glimpse of of the Met Museum in New York. Home, betrayal, the Met. Mr. Slua. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have any particular fondness for the Met? You see his eyes widen, which actually is kind of strange because they open left to right, not up and down. So it's kind of an odd thing to watch when he does. And he says, uh, <clears throat> I, have, uh, I, 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 I have both liberated and, and deposited items into the med on occasion. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I've done that, yeah. And forgive me, but you, you will not give us your name. You don't. I mean, slow. That, that, that's a name. It's not, I mean, not like, like the name. Yeah. It's not your name. Do you have anyone that you hold dear? Anyone you trust? Like, 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 like a, like a. He looks right at you, Gwyneth, and he's like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm no longer a young slua. You saying that's a uh, yeah, love and trust are things that kind of from from a bygone era. There, she'll, she'll step even closer, um, and even though she's shorter, she's she's meeting his gaze. Mm -hmm. If we are going to help you, you are going to have to be honest with us. Is there anyone that you trust? 
he sort of like slowly slides down to the bed and give me bunny your mm, not this not this not this um give me your perception and what skill did you use to uh, represent your skills in your day job uh bunny what did you put the dots in? Well, I, I took a couple things. Uh, I took um, performance, um, intimidation, <laughs> brawl. <laughs> uh, give me either perception or wits, whichever's higher, in okay. either performance or intimidation. All right. Brawl. <laughs> hey. Woman after my own heart. <laughs> Five successes. In the time that you've been talking to him, Bunny, one thing you know how to do is read a person. Uh, literally your stock and trade. And in the time that you've been talking to this Slua, you've seen a shift in him from while... What he was saying before, you detected no deception in what he was telling you about the fact that I don't remember, like something's missing and I don't know what it is. But you do know in the time that you've been talking to him, he's starting to figure things out. Like as you guys are sort of like saying things, like you see like his eyes sort of like his brow furrows a little, like he's thinking more and you're getting trepidation from him now where you weren't before. Huh. Mr. Slua. Look at me. I'll start to sort of just like run my fingertips down his shoulders, doing that thing where you try and get someone to like untense their muscles. Mm -hmm. We are going to help you. But you have to tell us what we need to do. Something important to you is gone. I want to help you find it. Um, oh, yes, Harlow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I've been watching a lot of like true crime documentaries, especially this one on Nexium. I'm going to need to see some collateral on like, how can we know that we can trust you on this? You're going to need to give us something to hold on to, to know that you are going to like, you know, be good. Be good for it. You can of break a promise to help you. Yeah. Listen, I'm not going to brand you or nothing, but like, I know I am a tattoo artist, but I'm not going to brand you. However, like, we're going to need to see something here to like, you know, make this in like an arrangement. Yeah, like something substantial and real. He motions over towards his lantern, and he says, "The light of that lantern will uh, show you a number of hidden things." You, you, you can you can borrow it till the job's done. Uh, I think I can I can give you two two pieces of information that should be enough for you to at least get started there, Miss uh, Miss Miss Gwyneth. Uh, the Met. Uh, I, 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 I've I've been known known to come and go from the Met, and. Uh, the item, uh, it's not me that it was dear to. Yeah, yeah, it's not me it was dear to. And when he says this, he starts to stand up and he says, <clears throat> uh, with respect, I realize I brought you all here and, and, and got you all uh, to, 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 twisted up on, on, on this wild, wild goose chase. And uh, you... you, you you, you, you think about what you want you want in terms of your compensation uh, if, if, you, if you'll take on this matter for me. Um, I, I, I also have a, I think I got a couple doors I need to knock on that you all have already helped me in a way that you, uh, you don't recognize. I get that a lot. <laughs> he just looks down at you and smiles and he's like, I'm an even bigger fan now, Miss Bunny. Even even a bigger fan. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, 
as he's giving us all this information, I'm just like furiously typing it on my missed phone. Mm -hmm. And then I swipe it up to save it. Um, and I just kind of look at him and I'm like, I accept your deal. This should be good enough for us to start. He just um, sort of nods for a moment. And he says, um, uh, Miss, Miss Bunny, with, with your permission, I'd kind of like to like to see myself out the way it came in, uh, if you don't mind. So it's, it's a thing we can do. The closets, beds, you know, we, we just sort of <laughs> get places. Fine. But next time you do not get to leave. Before. <laughs> he looks at you again and his eyes sort of like widen and like look like he misheard you. <laughs> and then he's like. Big, big, big fan indeed, uh, Miss Bunny. Big, can big fan indeed. Blush? This one can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he does move over towards the bed, and he just sort of like leans down, kind of like somebody that was gonna like pull their shoes out from under the bed. And he's like, "I realize uh, this 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 is an unusual an unusual request, and it seems seems like it's lacking in 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 the normal." Uh, uh, information you'd be given for such a thing but uh dare i say that you all are uh in an unusual assemblage and uh i think if anybody can get this done it'll be you and he ducks and is gone hey uh, harlow they're talking about the the museum not the baseball team i know the difference between the met and the mets thank you very much yeah sure i just saw like a little bit of a confusion on your face there and i just wanted to make sure that you knew what we were talking about oh no i knew what he was saying it's just like a little slow was that just kind of boring <laughs> dugan do do you turn into more of an asshole when you drink me no but if you think you're gonna oh him oh okay i thought i was very pleasant Oh, yeah, I'm are. pretty pleasant myself. Yeah, Dugman is one of the most upright, outstanding citizens I've ever met in my life. Yeah, that's... Wait, what? Look, how you feel about me is not my fucking problem, right? I, I am saying I would like it if you would have a drink and shut the fuck up for five minutes. I've been... Look, I've just been sitting here looking around your sex den. You know, that, that rocking chair over there, I could fix it up for you real nice. Let me let I, me just say. I, 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 right. Oh no, I had a lot of fun breaking that last week. <laughs> no, let me tell you, I can give it some upgrades. <laughs> just like to make everything vibrate. Huh? Hey. Important point of clarification: Are you going to attempt to modify the rocking chair? <laughs> you fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's what I'm going to need you to roll for me. <laughs> All right. Because uh, this is this is what knockers do. Welcome to also the world of darkness, everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, is doing that, can I have an aside with Gwen? You absolutely can. Give me your intelligence plus crafts, uh, yeah. by the way. In, in, in important point of clarification, also... Uh, Dugan, uh, how hard are you working on this? Like, are you gonna spend some glamour on it to like impress these people, or are you just sort of like doing your thing? Um. Well, see, I have this this other thing. What's it called? It's a uh, my my legacy. My secondary legacy is a crafter, so I um, mm -hmm. I actually get to uh, get a little bit of a bump on that, so the difficulty's a little. Easier. I, you know what? I don't think I need to spend any glamour on this. I think I got okay. this one in the bag. Got it. All right, roll it for me. And yes, Dix, uh, you and and you, you're able to kind of pull Gwen to the side. Hey, Gwen. It's been uh, it's been a little too long. How you doing? Well, honestly, it's always too long between times we get to catch up. But um, it's been a strange day. Yeah, you know, I couldn't help but notice he went off and did a thing before he came in here. And like, I'm not going to, like, make you tell me. But I'm kinda like, what'd you do? Because I'm like, you know, if there's a thing going on, I want in on the thing so that I can also benefit from it. I made a friend. Do you want to elaborate? Because you know I can look and just see, right? 
What do you mean? You know, I got ways of seeing stuff. We, we made a deal that you wouldn't do that on me. <sighs> yeah, I was just hoping you'd like just maybe tell me because we're like good friends and stuff, but it's fine. Listen, Dix, of course I will tell you everything, but I just... I'm not quite sure how much I can trust everyone else in this room, and there's ways for things to be heard. Yeah, that little Dugga guy, he's like a little, he's a little shifty. I don't trust him so much. Yeah. Everything is soundproofed. <laughs> so, in any case, I just want you to know, I don't know what you got going on, but you just let me, you just let me help you out. And I'll make sure that we gets done real on the sly, like like you can trust me. But I'll know about the rest of these fucking guys. But you know, we go way back. So I just I'm just saying, you don't have to tell me. But like, if you do, I'd be more than happy to help you. With whatever I just like I do. stop you in the middle of talking, and I I kind of like pull you in close and like motion like I'm fixing like adjusting your hair like like tenderly and and um you know adoringly, and I'm just like. What comes out of this room may end up being more important than we realize. I'm just gonna give her like a like a really conspicuous wink. <laughs> just be on your guard is all I'm saying. I'm just gonna kink it, like look around it and see if anybody else is paying attention to me. <laughs> And and I just I like as I back away, I kind of like observe my handiwork of of having fixed your hair, give a little nod, and then just um, say like you'll I'll I'll fill you in later. All right, thanks, babe. You just keep it real, okay? Uh, do um, Harlow and Bunny uh want want to interact while while that's taking place? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Hello, I love I love all of your tattoos. Oh gee, thanks. You know, the ones that like are on my forearms I get to do myself, but the ones on my back are kinda hard to reach, so I have somebody else do it for me. Oh, oh, I want to see, and I'm just gonna like go around and start tugging on the remaining articles of clothing because I'm assuming she abided by the no pants rule. So I'm just gonna keep. Oh yeah, tugging. I had no pants on. They were so, <laughs> they were off a long time ago. Uh, I'll just pull up her shirt and just start like because anyone who has tattoos knows that they're like that little bit raised for a while. Um, I'll just start running my fingertips over them to feel the ridges, and I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> I do it more the more she purrs. Uh, in important point of clarification, uh, Harlow, and I realize you're on the spot, so this is this is this is right now. It's, it's Schrodinger's answer. Uh -huh. but what what sort of tattoos are on her back? Oh well, you know, a little of this and a little of that. I got a lot of like they're very whimsical. They're really, you know, I know a lot of people have these like tattoos, and they're like, I want it to be really meaningful, and I want it to be in this language symbolizing this, but literally, really, mine are straightforward. There are four um, dicks in here. <laughs> What's that? There are four dicks. I found them. Oh yeah, there's a bunch. They're like hidden. They're like a where's Waldo of dicks on my back. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new episode like, title, by the way. Them. Where's Walto of Dicks on my back? <laughs> some of them you gotta really look for. Like there's like a flower planta back there, and it's supposed to look like like a like it's like a desert scene, but really it's a bunch of dicks. <laughs> Please clip that, internet. Please clip that for the worst Walto of Dicks. So hard, These are the most beautiful dicks I've seen in so long. <laughs> <laughs> they really are nice, aren't they? They really should be like, like I know, like he said, like uh, uh, um, Dugan over there said, I don't know the difference between the Met and the Mets, but really, I like to go to a lot of art museums to get a lot of inspiration for these dicks. If you go to the Met and take off your shirt and stand there, I guarantee you people will stop and look. <laughs> you know, I've done that one time, one time only. And then I really had to disguise myself all the other times I went back. <laughs> Oh God! I wish I was in Westchester. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, while you guys are doing this, 
you see uh he's gone over to this rocking chair and at first like he's sort of looking at it and you start hearing like anomalous noises of like sawing and jackhammering and things that just like don't line up with what you're seeing in bright flashes of light while he's working on this uh on this rocking chair uh how many successes did you get dugan i got five props to you on the practical with the wrench <laughs> yeah you know i always keep one on me <laughs> um this particular one is like a drill wrench it's kind of my thing i just make drills out of the stuff i got a patent pinning uh so with five successes uh this is actually important because reasons. Uh, what 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 do you do to her pleasure rocker? <laughs> <laughs> it matters. I'm not just I'm not just being that dude. It matters. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, knockers have that thing where you know it could you know do the stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, you know. Okay, so I got over here and I started looking at this chair, and it's not a chair like I've ever seen. So uh, look, look over here, bunny. So I took off all that extra stuff. You had like this weird, like floppy thing on there that I, I, I don't know why that was on there. It's not a very comfortable chair. If you got that sitting there. So, you know, I kicked that out first and foremost. And, uh, and I noticed that you had a very, uh, very targeted vibration thing right here in the setting. So, you know, what I did is I took that and I expanded it to the whole fucking thing, right? So, so uh, it seems kind of silly. It was like a, a very, uh, for a very specific massaging spot. Uh, but I figured that's going to be better if it's a full body thing. Nobody asked for like, hey, can you massage my toe? No, they want a full body massage. Anyway, no, 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 you're going to love this. You're going to love this. Okay, so Anyway, what I did, I got rid of all that extra shit. I got rid of the power cord. You don't even need a power cord. By the time I'm fucking done with this thing, it runs on like I I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like like it it just keeps up its own momentum once it gets going. You just take it, you shake it real good, and then it just keeps going forever. And then it gets faster and faster. You got to be a little careful once it starts getting towards the end. But god damn it, this thing is fucking perfect. It's like a, it's a masterpiece of manufacturing. What? You ruined my fuck chair. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it is much better now. Look, look, no, I've no, got it's this. like so it's like solar powered. You, you know, I I've you seen the way you been not, created. You ruined my fuck chair. It, no, no, look, no, look at this. Look at this you, back you, that I added. The elaborate. Look at this wainscoting that I put on the back here. I don't think you put wainscoting on chairs normally, but you know what? I'm an adventurer. I, yeah, I like know. to. <laughs> Dougman, I'm really feeling what you did here. I don't really know how to use it yet, but I've seen bunnies here, work. Let me show you. Like here, a, come here. And I'm going to set him down like, and like I'll shake let it up. Show you. Bunny. Important point of clarification, Bunny, because yeah. again, uh, knockers have two powers, also giggity. Where <laughs> one, they really can make anything. But there's always something wrong with it. <laughs> no, it's fucking, it's fucking perfect. So, I'm gonna yes. let you tell me what's the flaw with the chair. <laughs> it's functional. It does what he says it will do. There's some unintended consequence. I'm, I'm, I'm we achieved. We achieved so much in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is crime entertainment. Um, I feel like Dugan, being Dugan, probably not super familiar with Bunny and her work. Looks at this chair like a shitty massage chair. So I want the to believe. The mall. <laughs> what was that? Like the ones at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like the That's ones at the mall. My inspiration. So I feel like he he swapped the seat in the back, and he added more moving parts. So it's sort of like a whack-a-mole back to to offer that massage treatment now. Um, so you know, it's, guys, it's a chair with a bunch of dicks that fly out of the back, basically. That's that's what we're looking at right now. You know, guys are like that. They think that they just get all pokey and you like it, but it's not really a thing. <laughs> it is a terrible if you wake up. The hand is a thing, guys. Don't be fucking judging what people put, what, how many dicks they got coming out, okay? Look, all I know is that content doesn't hit number one. Well, you know what? 
I've got some ideas, Harlow. If you want to help me with the trying the chair out, I've got some really good, like, practical implementations that we could probably apply to the both of us at the same time. Yeah. No, 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 Please don't encourage him. I don't. I don't deal with CDs. We've got MP3s though. I can get. I can. Hey, it's sugar Morgan, face. Let me see those. Let me get me. your cloud access. I can. I haven't been in a lot of fancy cars. Meanwhile, Gwyneth. Children. Yes. While they are having this uh, <laughs> encounter about the alternatively ruined, alternatively improved fuck chair. <laughs> Dugan owes me a new fuck chair. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 yes, uh, j uh, sorry. I just want to clarify that through that whole exchange, I literally just sat back and read a novel in my like cloud vision, just <laughs> separated myself. Please continue. <laughs> As you are looking at uh, scrolling through your cloud information about the uh, Met you see a message pop up that you're not accustomed to seeing that comes up and says, why are you accessing this? Question mark. I frantically start typing and I'm like, I, the typing is just for show. It just flows from my brain into the, the cloud. And I'm just like, it's, it's mine to access. You see the typing icon there for a disturbingly long period of time where you're like, um, and then after what seems like an eternity, but was maybe 10 or 15 seconds, it just says technically. Have have I done something wrong? Not yet. Dot dot dot. Well, I'll be in here a little longer, just reorganizing some information. Nothing for you to worry about. The phone starts to ring which it usually does not do. I shift the mist toward the side of my face and say, uh, yes, this is Gwyneth. Gwyneth. What are you up to, child? Uh, I'm... I'm guilty. You caught me. I am working when I really should be relaxing. You know, it's Friday night. I have clocked out for the day. I, I, I'm just so passionate about my projects. <sighs> Gwyneth, don't get so lost in wearing the mask of that boring, bland, gray world that you forget us and what we are. I can't forget. It's on my mind all the time. We've analyzed your search. A strange game is afoot. To what end, we do not know. Is yeah. there something? Sorry. If you come across something of note, realize your duty is to your house. First and foremost. I'm offended. Of course it is. But listen, while I've got you, is there something about the Met I should know? 
there is a great deal about the Met you should not know. And the line goes dead. Am I right, Gwen? It needs more vertical motion. <laughs> Gwen, were you recording that? No. Why, why would I record that? There is no filming in here. This is a private room. I had a oh. phone call. You want me to remove those cameras? Those are my cameras. <laughs> oh. Am I going to be seeing myself later? <laughs> if you're lucky. I do subscribe. <laughs> then yes. <laughs> Wait. Who called you? Yeah. My superior. Is that like a bondage thing? It's it's a loyalty to my house thing. It's it's a she thing. I'm not quite sure you'd understand. Oh, we can be here or she. It's fine. <laughs> you you seem less than pleased. I do not think it's the same kind of superior as you or I deal with. Are Listen, oh. I think this is all fun. It's been it's been a delight to meet you all. It's it's truly been an eye-opening experience. I have to attend to some business at the Met. Um, no, 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 no. We, we are all going to the Met. Well, if that is the case, we need to go now. No time okay. like the present. I don't mean I don't to know. break up the sex party. I, I truly don't. I've been there. I've lived the fun. Oh, Lord, it doesn't seem that way. Sure, yeah. Mm. She's pretty dusty. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like <laughs> glamour away so you can't see how red that makes me and say you can believe whatever you'd like to believe. I know more than everyone in this room combined and I know we must get to the Met. Hey, there's nothing like an after party. Let's go. You know, it's okay, it, 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 Gwen. It's okay. I know you fucks. It's good. Like, I know. They might not know, but I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I just shake it off. Just yeah, shake you it got off. it. You fucking, yeah, you Taylor Swift that bitch. She subscribes too. I don't know what you are fighting about. Everyone put your pants back on. We're going to the mat. <laughs> oh, we have to go to the mat with pants? Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. I like you too. <laughs> I'm a top subscriber. As um, you all are making your way, oops. Okay, you can hear me. Sorry. As you all are making your way uh, back out of the axis, uh, as you come back out, out in the hallway, you see the two bed warmers still in the hallway looking like. Are they human? Yes. Uh, I will walk right up to them, hand to throat one against the wall. What the fuck did I tell you? I said, get the fuck out of here. We surprise. We, we, we serve at our mistress' pleasure. You want you said, dogs? Up. Just go. <laughs> and they do turn, just like hurry off down the hall. Okay, are you ready now? <laughs> Yeah, dicks. <laughs> Can I use my past sight to see if they heard anything? Because now, uh, I'm, now, I'm, now I'm worried that they like. Oh, it's fine. like if. Yeah, uh, but like. Hmm. The, uh, yeah, roll the dice. <laughs> yeah, roll the dice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Love you, Dave. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Because it's uh, suspicious. Four. Uh, she's right. It's soundproof. I mean, okay. like it, it, it's, uh, it, you know, Dix, you, you, you've, you've liberated items from a number of places. So you're just kind of, uh, instinctively case joints and, you know, you can even tell by the thickness of the door when it's closing. I mean, she's right. It's soundproof. So 
while uh, theoretically you could have been heard by supernatural means, just two people standing in the hallway, there's no chance they heard anything. Okay. Do yes. I realize what Dix is doing? Or if not, uh, can I just ask? Give me... I keep misplacing my own thing here. Um... Uh, it's because it's on a whole different window. That's why. Um. My goodness, I lost. I lost my my own my own character sheet. Also, hashtag OnlyFans. Um. <laughs> Cup one person. <laughs> uh, there we. go. Go, got that again. Uh, give me either perception or wits, mm-hmm. and um, either enigmas or grammar, which are the the occult skills and oh, changelings. Okay. Three successes. Uh, I would say you know that Dix is a puka. Um, that's a sentence I just said out loud. Uh, a pisky, okay. sorry. Dix is, Dix, Dix, is a, Dix is a pisky. Uh, Mm -hmm. because again that's a sentence i said out loud um uh, because kiths unless you're actively hiding it from each other like you know the fate spot each other uh Mm -hmm. with three successes i would say you're aware of the fact that it's not uncommon for piskies to be able to see through time um you heard him mention to the slua that he could um I'd say except for maybe like a slightly far away stare when he's doing it, although he kind of like looks a little far away all the time because he's kind of uh, so I, I would say you probably know he's capable of it. You may or may not know when he's actually doing it. OK, so I'll I'll elbow uh, Dix and be like, you know, since we're spending a little bit of time together doing this thing, um, you know, if you do notice any funny business of people doing thing with your time thing, um, I can make them forget, too. Just let me know. Just give me a heads up. Just give me a nod. Just give me a wink. Yeah, no shit. You know, that'd be really useful. Yeah. We could be and, like a good team and maybe we could like consummate our partnership back on the phone. Well, I don't know. I haven't seen your fawns only. <laughs> yeah, I, that's fair. I, I tr- like I, I think it goes against like my line of work to like really have one. You know, it's like a moral that's thing. Fine. You know, there's always, there's always, you know, we, maybe we got some extra time, and you know, I don't it. You never know. Yeah, you, you, and when, you never know. And when this, the, uh, during this exchange, I'm going to cough up a hairball, but then I'm going <laughs> to, but like stealthily kind of, but I'll pocket it in a way that I, that seems like I have something in my pocket, hoping that Dix will try to steal whatever it is that he thinks I have in my pocket. <laughs> I would like to make an oath of love right now. (laughs) Here's the thing, Dix. If you know she put something in her pocket, you kind of want it. (laughs) I fucking want it. I don't know what it is, but I know she fucking hate it in her pocket from me. You know, hey, if you search well enough, maybe we'll end up in that chair. Who knows? (laughs) I'm losing my mind of stuff. As you all get outside, oh, and we're absolutely gonna put 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 a uh, put put a pin in, in Dick's purloined hairball. <laughs> As you all are making your way outside, um, Dugan, give me your perception or wits, whichever's higher, and your alertness. Mm, well, you know, I get sucked into my work, so I don't really pay attention to what's going on around me that much, but uh, that's two successes. Bunny, give me yours, too. My what? Who? Uh, either wits or perception and alertness. Is a what who related to a hoo ha? <laughs> you wish. Contextually, yes. <laughs> um is you all are sort of making your way out of the axis and kind of um looking at each other um 
Gladys pops up in the uh, in the ticket booth, and she sort of looks at you, and she goes, "Oh, um, I don't mean to uh, intrude. I uh, mean, you all are leaving early. Where are you off to?" Dix finishes very fast. We're going to the Met. It's an after party. That is usually like a delightful inversion of the way your evenings go, Bunny. Like you start here and then go do something cultured versus the. No, okay. Um, I always want to try something new, you know. No, we <laughs> totally met a slew and he lost something. And we got to go find it for him. And to be like super clear, I can last as long as I want. It's just more efficient to be like finishing early. <laughs> You get more done in the evening, darling. I get it. Did you say a slower? Yeah, he just like popped up in the the room. I didn't think you could do that or nothing, but he was like fucking sticking his little creepy fingers out, and he he just showed up. You know, um, I believe you've now done me a service by bestowing that information on me, Mister Dugan. I'm gonna do something for you. Uh, cross yeah. the street. There's three guys waiting for you. Honestly, I thought they were just going to kick your ass. Might maybe like teach you some manners. But now, um, me, I got, yeah, you personally. Yeah. You know, that happens. Maybe, I like, like, don't, don't look, don't look right at them. If they, if you look right at them, they're going to know, you know, but yeah, they're across the street over on the corner by that bodega. I'm going to pull a nail gun out of my belt and mm -hmm. cock it. <laughs> it's got this big pneumatic, uh, air compressor on the end of it. Mm hmm. Look, I know how to deal with bullies. I mean, I thought you just became one was how you deal with it. I tell you what, um, if you don't want to uh, have to deal with getting scuffed up, you know, ruining your nice apron, uh, I can let you add one of the other uh, entrances to the club. You could just go around. They'll never even know you were here. Or, uh, you know, you could go out. Maybe they pick up your scent, come after you. I don't know what'll happen, but I figured I mean, at least they're out I there like looking to menace me. I'm going to fuck their world up. I don't stand for that kind of shit. Come on. Dugan, this is this is an unnecessary interruption for our evening. Plus, Dugan, I didn't really take you to be like the group kind of guy. I figured you're more one-on-one -on -one kind of worker. I mean, I can handle any number. Oh, wow. Bunny, you need an extra? I mean, this guy sounds pretty good. Dugan, maybe, maybe we go look into the mat and then come back. Because then we'll catch them off guard and beat their asses. But what Brilliant are these guys idea. telling us? You know, but what are these guys are telling us? You know, Gladys, you are such a class act. Mm, thanks, Gladys, darling. Please tell your daughter Lois I said hello. Oh, she's she's loves you to death, by the way. That kanji you did down and up in her arm, and you even wrote the thing she asked for. I I, I took. I was very grateful to you for that. Anything for you. You know, you're like family. Mm, thank you, darling. Yeah, that, well, you know, again, you guys are here. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you because you're all so smart and pretty. And, you know, and um, Dugan, uh, you just did me a solid. So there you go. I done you a solid now. But do you think we all should, right. like, look into these guys so that maybe they don't follow us? Ah. No, I think I think we're right. I think I think we go... Leave those fucking guys to chill in the alley. It's kind of cold out there. They'll regret it by morning. Yeah, show us this. Show us your back door. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard that since 1968. But I tell you what, I'll even do you one more solid before I... I, I, I uh... told you that last week. <laughs> well, you know, a lady doesn't like to brag, Bunny. But uh, I'm going to do you all a little bit of a favor. Um if you would just uh, step step back towards the doors if you would presumably everybody does it yeah yep. she holds her hands up and you all see exact duplicates of all of you appear and walk towards the front of the club and turn and hook a left and like you even see Dugan turns and looks and goes like, "What? I'm a fucking genius!" And Bunny's like, "Oh dear, you're so embarrassing!" And like they may start causing a scene as they walk, and you see the three guys from the other side start tailing after him. <gasps> She's like, "There you go. I laid down a little cover fire for you." What hey, did I tell trip. you? What did I tell you, Gladys? We owe you one. Does my ass really look like that? 
Oh, yeah, no, much yeah, better. Like, I, I could never capture the true magnificence of what you got going on back there, darling. I you thought it was pretty good. <laughs> what, what was that, buddy? You, you are a goddess, Gladys. Oh, no, I'm just a humble craftswoman. No, okay. I'll see you guys out, though. Do you need a lift to the meta? You got your own way to get there. I've got it. I'll pull out what is essentially um, a, a jitterbug is, and press number one <laughs> for for my driver to bring That's the amazing. car around. Yeah. Important point of clarification. Does your driver know he's your driver or does your driver think he's your boyfriend? When it's both. <laughs> and that's a good place for us to stop. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, you all having been tasked uh, with the mystery of finding, uh, of recovering something that wasn't stolen, that you don't know what it is. <laughs> It's not the most frustrating quest in the world. Definitely not. I think this is but, D-Day's revenge for us creating difficult characters that he's like, I don't even know what to do with you guys. Go find something. I don't even know what. And we all learned so much. I know what it is and where it is. Yeah, but uh, the, the, the board is set and the pieces are moving. So, hey, and then, hey, you guys are so much nicer to each other. That's it. I mean, people really thought at the end of Wraith, they were like, whoa, do they really not like each other? I'm like, no, that's not it at all. <laughs> yeah, no, super happy fun time. Yep. Super happy fun time. So uh, tell everybody where you, uh, who you beautiful people are and where you can be located. Um, I'll start... Uh, at the opposite side, uh, this time with Nora. Hey, everyone. <laughs> I'm Nora Ibrahim. Uh, also, find me at Nora Logical on Twitter and Instagram and all the things. As usual, this game breaks me and I forget all the things I'm doing towards the end. So please follow me on all my social medias for all the updates because on every day I'm streaming something with wonderful people. Um, that's, that's all. That's all I got. I got it. I got nothing. I'm done. I've yep. I've <laughs> cried. I've laugh cried way too much during this. That's the thing. By Friday night, it's all like let's expend those remaining spell slots ahead of that weekend long rest. Just yep. Cast it all, uh, Mason. Yeah, hey everybody. My name is Mason Dula, and you can find me here on Twitch at Wizard X TV. Um, Mason Dula on some other stuff. Just search those things. You'll find me. I like to do D and D and Call of Cthulhu, and I'm here with these beautiful people on Fridays. So. Uh, yeah. Make sure you get mm -hmm. this channel follow because it's awesome and Jake's amazing. It's true. Okay. Hashtag Q times. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, your hair looks magnificent. The quarantine hair is working well for you. You're the only person I know that is like benefiting from the quarantine hair, Mason. Oh, what, yeah. what do you fucking call this? Come on. That art. Art. <laughs> art. You That's know? my fiance, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. It is. It is. <laughs> Literally put a ring on it. Literally. It looks, it, it looks beautifully quaffed, though, Mason. That's like. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whip your hair back and forth. Uh, Justice. Wait. Oh, hey. Hmm? Wait, who? Sorry. I. No, nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Justice. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, Emily, because we're going off of B Dave's screen, not, not, not Twitch stream. I, yeah, I was, don't worry about me. Okay. <laughs> All right. I got confused for a moment there. Hi, everybody. I'm Justice. Um, I'm brain dead. Uh, and uh, it's Friday afternoon after a very tough weekend. Uh, we we got to, um, to to have some fun here. And you can find me on the socials at StashMandu um, or um, on uh, Twitch uh, occasionally on the Bard and Barbarian channel. I'm one half of the team over there. And... I don't do as good a job about announcing where, where I'm at and where you can find me, but uh, I think I'm at, I'm at four days a week right now, most weeks, uh, somewhere on the internet. So uh, find me and have some fun. I enjoy it. It's also, that this is my favorite look, by the way. This, this is a top <laughs> light. Good look. Top I'm, light I'm, look. Yes. look, this was this was the best part, and you couldn't hardly see it. You could hardly see it because it's... There's a there's actually this hair curls in. I got it to stay. Oh, you you, you got to have some follow. You got to have some 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 post game oh, selfies. There you go. Oh, oh. There you go. With, with like full maximum body is where you get it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of maximum body, bunny. 
<laughs> Hello, um, I am Diana D'Amico. Uh, I've been your sex craze satyr this evening. Um, I am the other half of Barden Barbarian. You can find me over on our channel doing some stuff. Tomorrow afternoon, I'm running a charity game for Mark of Ice Cream Dice. It's his birthday today, so go wish him happy birthday. And um, I'm going to kill him and his entire party tomorrow to celebrate. So, um, happy birthday, as one does. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but follow me on Twitter, D'Amico Diana. I, I post very loud opinions and then whatever I'm streaming at any given time. I appreciate just how hard the pendulum swung from Cornelia, by the way. Yeah, it, polar damn. opposites. <laughs> <laughs> that you were like, can I do not that? Don't you like how I asked your advice on like this character and not the evil bitchy pilgrim that just wanted to burn it all down? Everything this was the one you, I needed help with. Everything you say and do is correct. That's uh, that's why it's it's I, I, I support your life. I support your choices. Uh, <laughs> and last but certainly not least, Emily. Hi everyone. My name is Emily Floyd. You can find me on social media at Emily the Spoon. Pretty much everywhere. Um, and by day, I am the director of licensing for Roll Twenty, and that's. Me. I don't have any streams to talk about or anything except for um, I, I, I'm on some of the ones that got mentioned before already. So that's uh, this is a cool group of people. It's fun to work with them. <laughs> and by night, you are Faye royalty. There it is. You, that, that is. you can you can add that to the list now. There you go. Yep. Dreams uh, accomplished. <laughs> there it is. Mark it off the bucket list. Uh, and B. Dave Walters, you're a humble storyteller uh, that I'm somewhere doing something. Uh, not currently seven days a week. That was it for a long time. So not quite seven, but often. So I <laughs> just say, yes, follow me uh, at B. Dave Walters uh, to see what it is that I'm doing and where. And uh, again, thank you to uh, Q Times. And uh, we will back here next week for more shenanigations. Thank see you, y'all Jake. then. Bye. Bye.